It is the first virtual graduation in Chambogo University. We need you to feel very, very special. Our graduates who are on Zoom, we want to sample your videos. Make sure you're very smart. Make sure if you have a gown at home, put on your gown, turn on your video. We shall show the whole world that in your home, you were alive in the 17th graduation ceremony of Chambogo University. Yes, we welcome you, our teachers, our scientists, and uh, our engineers. Today is your day, and uh, we actually rely on you for us to trend double, or even more than double. On Monday, no, the first day on Tuesday, we trended three. We, we, we trended triple. Yesterday, we trended double. Today, we should trend triple, or even... Uh, four times. So we are very glad and today is a big day for us for we have our PhD students. We are very glad. We want you, our PhD graduates, to have your day, enjoy it. And um, we, the music, the, 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 the music department will cooperate uh, when the PhD people are getting their PhDs, we will want you to play some special music for them. We are here running the final lap. It is the 17th graduation ceremony and uh, we are about to begin. In a matter of minutes, we will begin and we want you to make this uh, a memorable final day of our very first virtual graduation so this is the day that the lord has made we urge each one of you to rejoice and be glad in it uh, it's a good day it's a wonderful day it's a beautiful day for all of us and for those of us who are watching us from all kinds of uh, platforms just enjoy the day we have received several videos of our students having fun and pictures just do just do as we have been told uh, the hashtag is Ch -ch -ch kyu 17th grad just post those pictures on that uh, hashtag one make it trend but also make your picture available to us as a university we need them and we'll definitely put them to better use bring keep them coming keep them coming if you do not have a twitter handle just get it and uh, post your pictures on your handle and uh, use the, ta the hashtag. We will make it. We have already made it. We have defied all odds and all is well. And as it is said, all is well that ends well. We began well and will definitely end well and the day will end well. In a matter of minutes, the Chancellor's position will be here. Today we want to be done by a half past noon. So if there is any of your, uh, the person you know who is not here, tell them and say, oh, the Chancellor's position is going to be here before you. Let us all be here in time, sit, relax, chill. Uh, it's your day, it's our day, it's uh, a special day, the very first uh, virtual graduation. Asante, all of us, thank you.
mixes played by DJ Hooker.
have enough time because... Our distinguished guests, we want to take this opportunity to warmly welcome you to your day that you have been waiting for for the last, some of you 40 years, some of you 30 years, others 25 years. We want to say congratulations, it's your day, uh, and please cheer up and celebrate. My name is Charles Mukoza. I'll be working with the Mr. Ruben Tunomo Juni, the Senior Public Relations Officer, to run the program of the day. We invite you to feel at home, feel at Chambo, go. It is your day. Please celebrate, jubilate. Uh, this is a special day for this university. The third session is indeed a very special day because all the co-workers of the university are here. Teacher training, science, technology, and then engineering. We want to warmly welcome you, our graduates, and even those online. We welcome you. We congratulate the parents and all our partners. So thank you so much. Some people are moving around with the microphone to our graduates to give a special word or two as we wait for the chancellor's procession to come in. When the chancellor's procession comes in, you will be requested to stand up because that is an academic tradition. The chancellor comes with a team of celebrated academicians, professors, and doctors, and they usually put on the regalia. That uniform is called the regalia. Those are colors of the university. And so, so you are most welcome. Today is our last session of the 17th Congregation of Chambogo University. So you are welcome to the 17th con Convocation or Congregation of Chambogo University. Today we have Faculty of Education, Faculty of Science, and Faculty of Engineering. You are most welcome and feel at home. A music interlude.
ladies and gentlemen, dear graduates, just to give you more information. Uh, today we are so glad and delighted that we are going to have a, a bigger number of PhD students graduating and as a university we are making great strides. To give you a small history of Chambogo University, it is a university that was created in 2003, uh, I think when some of you were not yet born, and in 2003 as a result of a merger of three institutions, Uganda National Institute of Special Needs Education, that specialized in special needs education, and then Uganda Polytechnic Chambogo, that specialized in production of technicians and engineers. Then Uganda Institute of Teacher Education Chambogo, that specialized in training of teachers. So the three institutions merged, and in 2003, Parliament passed an act to create Chambogo University, and an instrument was issued thereafter to create Chambogo University. So if you are to count from 2003 to today, we are about 18 years old. So whereas we are a younger university, we have made great strides in that in terms of numbers, we are the second largest public university in Uganda with a student population of about 62,000 students out of which 36 are on campus and about 20 are uh, off campus. We have not only grown in numbers, but we have also grown in terms of infrastructure capacities. We have also grown in terms of human capacity. As you will hear the Vice Chancellor's speech, we have seriously grown in terms of PhDs. We have also grown in terms of uh, IT, uh, and we are a leading university in terms of creating solutions for management of public universities. So we want to congratulate you and to welcome you to be part of the great convocation or the alma mater of this institution. Uh, in a special way, of course, we recognize our three PhD students. And also to inform you that the university recently approved a new strategic plan that is to drive us for the next five years. So you are most welcome and feel at home. Today, the university will also be recognizing the best performing student as the vice chancellor will be taking the lead in that area. So thank you so much. And thank you for making your parents proud. Thank you for working hard. Here at Chambogo University, we give you knowledge and skills for service. And one man said that success in life is determined by the quality and the quantity of service that you give to societies. So today, as you leave the gates of Chambogo University, we throw a challenge to you Please go and give quality services. Don't first look at money. Money will always come. Money will always look for you. But the most important thing is gain the experience, then give quality service to humanity. Success will look for you. Uh, so thank you so much. The Vice Chancellor's procession is about to touch the, ground, the graduation ground. And when he comes, I uh, will request you to rise until he takes his seat. Thereafter, we will have the anthems and the prayer, and the chancellor will constitute this assembly into a third session of the 17th congregation. It should have been 18, but because of the COVID pandemic, we are a class of 2020 graduating in 2021. So you are most welcome, feel at home, and we love you.
Um, we are waiting now for the Chancellor's procession, and when uh, it arrives, we shall stand. As, as they enter, we shall all stand, and we shall remain standing as we go through the anthems, as the, uh, our system plays the band, and then we shall have a prayer, and then you can, uh, the, the, the Chancellor will constitute the, the, the congregation and then we will sit. So when uh, we begin, when they enter the tent, please stand, and then we shall uh, have them come. When they settle down, we shall have the anthems and then a prayer. And then the, Cong the third session of the 17th Congregation will be constituted, and then you will sit. So uh, the Chancellor's procession is coming. I see them uh, in a matter of minutes. They will be here. and. Uh, will be good to go. This is a special day for us. It is the third session of the 17th congregation of the university, and we are graduating 9,521 students. We have been here since Tuesday. This is Thursday, so we are running the last lap. Maybe to know that uh, this event, just like the past two, were live on um, NTV, and they are also live on our YouTube and other social media platforms. And our hashtag is Chu17thGrad. 
We were trending for the last, since Tuesday, we have been trending on a daily basis. This can never be an exception. So we urge you to have that tag trend. Take your pictures, send them. We will need them. The Chancellor's possession is coming, and uh, when it finally enters, we will stand. And then uh, the rest of the program we remain standing until the Chancellor constitutes the third session of the 17th Congregation of the University, of Chambogu University. We are very glad today we have our PhDs. Um, we have a big number of our PhDs, and we welcome you. I'm also informed that we have the best female student today in this congregation. You are very welcome. You are very welcome, all of you, everybody. It's an honor to, to have all of you here. For our online audience, the, the Chancellor's possession is entering, and we shall request uh, all of you to stand, and then the music will lead us. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's the Chancellor's possession has arrived and we shall have uh, the anthems.
the Imam of the Chambogu University Music. Imam, you're welcome. Bismillah rahman rahim In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. O oh Allah, the creator of everything, you are the one self-sufficient, there is none co-equal or comparable to you. You are the most high, the giver of bounties without measure, and you are all aware of everything. O oh Allah, we are very grateful for the gift of life, for our university, and indeed for this great day. We pray that you bless all members of Chambogu University, guide, lead, and direct them to the best when executing their duties and obligations. Bless this congregation. Grant all graduates, those present and the remote, strength, remove all their difficulties, and ease all their tasks. Keep them safe from all calamities. Bestow upon them success and elevate their status. Give our parents good health and bless their plans and means of earnings. Help them overcome the challenges of life. O oh Allah, on this great day, Grant us a share from your mercy which is wide. Guide us towards your shining proofs. Lead us to your all-encompassing pleasure. By your love, O Allah, the hope of all. O Allah, the sustainer of mankind. Remove the illness from us and cure the disease. You are the one who chores. There is no cure except your cure. Grant us a cure that leaves no illness. 
We ask you to feed us, to clothe us, and to grant us security and stability in our country. O oh, Allah, accept our prayer. Amen. Thank you very much, the Imam. Mr. Chancellor, sir, please permit me to request the Vice Chancellor to invite you to constitute the third session of the 17th Congregation of the University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I constitute this assembly into the third session of the 17th Congregation of Chambogo University. Oh, thank you very much. We are now constituted and you can now sit. And while you sit, we shall request the Vice Chancellor to address the congregation. The Chancellor, Chambogo University, Professor J.P. Sebufu, the Chairperson of Chambogo University Council, and all members of Council who have graced this occasion, my colleagues, the Vice Chancellors of Sister Universities, members of Top Management, members of Senate, the deans of faculties and schools, the heads of departments, the teaching and non-teaching staff of Chambogo University, the parents and guardians, the graduates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I wish to welcome you to the third session of the 17th graduation ceremony. And thank you for sparing the three days to be with us as you preside over the ceremony. I wish to welcome the Chair of Council, the Vice Chair of Council, and all members of Council, the Deputy Vice Chancellors and other members of top management, the Deans of Faculties, Heads of Departments, parents, guardians and graduates, and all invited guests this ceremony, which started on Tuesday, 21st September, and will end today, the 23rd of September. As you will notice, this has been virtual, and most people are connecting with us through NTV and other media platforms. However, attending physically are some members of council, some members of top management, representatives of the students selected from the best performing students in each faculty, representatives of students with disabilities and those graduating with postgraduate diplomas, masters and doctorates. And this was done to keep observance of the SOPs as provided by the Minister of Health to minimize the spread of COVID-19. Mr. Chancellor, sir, during these three days graduation ceremony, we shall have presented to you a total of 9,521 graduates, of whom 5,074 are males and 4,447 are females. For the award of certificates, diplomas, bachelor's, master's degrees, and PhDs. Of these 251 students, obtained first-class degrees in various bachelor's programs they were pursuing. Just to inform you that the overall best performing student is Mr. Ruma Daniel Hendre, Bachelor of Science, Human Nutrition and Dietetics, who scored a CGPA of 4.93 out of 5. And the overall best performing female student is Ms. Nawasinga, Joan Merembe, 
Bachelor of Information Technology and Computing, who scored a CGPA of 4.86 out of 5. The best performing student in the humanities, you realize that the two best performing students are in the sciences, and the best performing student in the humanities is Kutesa Deborah, Miss, Bachelor of Interior and Landscape Design, who scored a CGPA of 4.83 out of 5. I'm reliably informed that the two best performing students are here with us today, and we shall give an opportunity to the convocation after my remarks to recognize them. Mr. Chancellor, sir, among the students who are graduating today, we have 321 who are funded under the government's loan scheme. This scheme was launched here in Chambogo in 2014 by His Excellency the President, and since then over 1,500 students have graduated from this university. And one thank the government for their commitment to increasing equitable access to higher education. So Chancellor Sir, allow me to give special thanks to our Chair of Council, Dr. Gwalit Nakabugo, the Vice Chair, Council Sarah Rebega, and all other members of Council who have graced this occasion over the last three days for their continuous guidance to top management to make sure that we continue on course and working on policies that have created a peaceful atmosphere on campus which has ensured that teaching and learning and research take place without major disruptions. The same council members have also appointed very many members of staff to various positions and promoted many to senior positions which has created calmness among the academic staff. They now appreciate that if you work hard and you publish and you have the necessary requirements, you will surely get the promotion. You don't have to know anybody in administration or in council for you to get promoted. I thank my colleagues, the DVCs, both Professor Maria Musoke, DVCAA, and Professor Nabugomu, DVC FA, for their cooperation and teamwork and also other members of top management for being available to respond to the needs of staff whenever need arises. I want to thank in a special way the deans of faculties because they are the gatekeepers of academia. They link with management. And I want to thank you, together with your heads of departments and members of teaching and non-teaching staff, for their work to ensure that we graduate these students today. Without your input and dedication, this would not have been possible. Allow me also to thank our partners, the Private Sector Foundation, the owners and operators of faculties and industries, schools and district councils, and other government departments that take in our students for internship. We appreciate their role in contributing to skilling our young people. Thank you parents for entrusting the future of your children to us. And here they receive knowledge and skills to set them up in the world of work. And I'm glad to say that Chambog University graduates have been found preferable when it comes to employment in many sectors of the economy. Sir Chancellor Sir, over the last two years, which have been hard years because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the university has registered some successes. In the area of teaching and learning, we are compelled to resort to online technologies to remain in contact with our students. This called for investment in the installation of required ICT infrastructure and demonstration centers to train our staff in the use of online applications so that we can continue engaging our students online. In December 2020, the National Council for Education 
approved Chambogo University to use Odell mode of teaching that's open distance and e-learning and we have been using that since that time. However, there are some challenges with access of our students. Some can access online materials, some may not do so because of lack of gadgets and because of lack of data which is quite expensive but we continue to discuss with our colleagues that there is no way out this online teaching is going to be the way forward with or without COVID I therefore call upon all parents and guardians to provide data for internet and gadgets like smartphones basic laptops and iPads to enable the students access online materials. And I want to really applaud the members of staff who have gone out of their way to improvise, find means of keeping in touch with our students. This has worked very well for classes which are small, but we have problems with the large classes of over 1,000 students keeping in touch with all of them has proved to be problematic, but we must continue improving as we go along. I want to thank members of staff who have continued to develop new programs. And as I have always encouraged members of staff with PhDs, that they should not be going to look for teaching hours on certificates and diplomas, but they should be developing masters and doctorate programs. And I'm glad to say that this message has now been uh, accepted. And we have a number of programs which have been approved, like the PhD in Public Policy and Governance, the PhD in Special Needs Education, the Master of Arts in Public Administration and Resource Governance, Master of Arts in Security and Diplomatic Studies, Master of Arts in Economics, among many master students that have been approved by the National Council for Higher Education. The university, is, the university continues to engage in research, and we have many members of staff doing research, engaging many partners, and publishing. And as a result of their research work, many of them have been promoted to the ranks of professor, associate professor, and senior lecturers on the basis of their publications. And because of their aggressive staff development policy that Chambogo University has, many members of staff have graduated with PhDs. And I'm glad to say that currently, when I was doing the assessment, I discovered that 195 members of teaching staff out of the current 404 have attained PhDs in various fields. And this is a good achievement and sets us on a stage to promote research in this university. The university has also come up with a graduate fellow scheme. This is a scheme where we recruit the best students with first class, second class uppers, and we train them, we mentor them, and we continue engaging them with the hope that we are going to develop these graduate fellows into professors. So it is a way of growing our own professors because there is no institution that will let go of their professors when they have them. So as a university, we needed to be innovative and start a scheme where we grow our own, university, our own professors from the very best students. And this is being done in many other universities in Europe. So the first cohort of the 43 graduate fellows who were recruited in 2018 and have completed their master's degrees have now been employed as assistant lecturers in various departments. And we await another round of recruitment when we identify the very best students and keep them. And I'm glad that these are, to say that these are very bright students. They have finished their master's on time and some of them have already engaged in PhD programs, which is really commendable. The university also came up with a, a competitive research scheme. This was to engage our students, our members of staff, 
in meaningful research. And the council approved money to the tune of over 1 billion shillings per year to be competed for by members of staff. And I'm glad to say that many members of staff are now engaged in research. But we encourage them to do meaningful research that is going to have interesting findings and disseminate these findings in the community and avoid the, the habit of plagiarism. That, that's the easy way to go and copy a research project from one university and bring it here and hope that it will be funded. But you are doing a disservice to yourself when you start doing that. We thank the government of Uganda for creating a research fund. We have been urging government to come up with a national research fund. Now some money have, has been put aside, the tune of about five billion, in the former Minister of Science and Technology. Now I don't know what is going to happen to this money since the ministry is no longer there. But we shall await guidance from government on how researchers from various universities can access this money. And this will definitely provide an opportunity for government to direct funds to research which is relevant to our own social economic development. It is true that there is no developed country that will give you money to do research for your own interest. So as a country, we need to fund our own research. And there are some examples which are coming forward, like COVIDx, discover of COVIDx, and that is research which has been done here. And I think COVIDx is causing some major changes in the way COVID-19 is controlled. So in order to protect our research findings, I want to call upon government to support universities to develop stronger and clear intellectual property policies to protect the innovations developed in universities. If this is not done, these innovations will be stolen from the institutions by others claiming to have been part of the innovation process. Because stealing innovations is a common thing all over the world. If you researchers commonly do this, they plagiarize innovations and claim as theirs. So we want to protect this by having clear intellectual property management policies. And such is likely to happen in medical, pharmaceutical, and ICT research. And if it does, it demoralizes the researchers in universities. So Chancellor, sir, the university has developed a new stru structure. This structure was developed in uh, partnership with the, min with the Minister of Public Service because the old structure was no longer serving the interests of the now expanded university. So there have been some changes, like an expansion of the university from the six faculties and schools to 12 faculties and schools and increasing departments from 38 to 49 departments, in addition to creation of the Institute of Distance Learning, e-learning, and learning centers. The creation of this institute was essential to guide the university in the direction we need to go in the area of distance learning, e-learning, and also take care of the learning centers that the university has come up with. The structure has also created some new administrative structures which are going to be filled as we go along. And this expansion will require an increase in teaching staff from the current establishment of 1,281 to 1,772. This is an increase of 491 staff and a corresponding decrease in non-teaching staff from 851 to 792, a decrease of 59. It was thought that you needed fewer non-teaching staff to support the many teaching staff. And that's the cause of the decrease in the number of the non-teaching staff. And this structure will cost about 62.7 billion over five years to implement. 
We have already started implementing the new structure and government directed that we start with those activities that are budget neutral, i.e. they don't need money. Because of the think, financial constraints the government is going through. It is our conviction, Mr. Chancellor, sir, that this new structure will create many opportunities for growth, efficiency, and effectiveness in the business processes of the university. And we shall continue to engage government to ensure that they support us to be able to implement this structure. The university developed a number of policies and guidelines to foster good governance and also continued building the capacity of human resources through st staff development programs. A number of staff have been promoted or have been supported to undertake studies leading to their PhDs in different fields. And since the last graduation, many members of staff have graduated with PhDs and I want to congratulate them. Regarding physical infrastructure, the university has changed greatly. We have come up with new buildings, especially under HES project. These include the central teaching facility, the technical teacher education complex, the virtual library, the multipurpose science complex, the engineering complex, architecture complex, and all these are new buildings. And in addition, old workshops and laboratories have been renovated and e equipped with the state-of-the-art equipment. This is a very big addition to the university. In addition, the university is in the final stages of constructing a central lecture block which will cost the university about 15.8 billion once it's completed. It will provide teaching space, it will provide computer labs, provide conference facilities, and rooms for small meetings. You must have also noticed that our road network has improved. The number of roads have been worked on, some by our students of engineering, and some through procurement processes, and these roads have been fitted with solar lights, which has transformed the, 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 the whole university as it were. And in addition, we are working on a sports ground where we see we are sitting now, and we hope to transform it into an enviable facility of world class. For people who like walking, I'm sure they will find it very convenient to walk around here a number of times and by the time you finish, you should have cut off a few kilos. In the area of ICT development, the university continues to be the leader in ICT solutions development. The university has increased the university-wide infrastructure and connectivity. We have enhanced the use of ICT into university processes, service delivery and image improvements. And this has enhanced administration and management of academic processes, as well as financial management. The university has promoted ICT research and innovations. We have enhanced institutional online visibility through the website and facilitating e-library services and digitalizing Chambogo University research output online. In addition, strengthening ICT policy, legal, and regulatory frameworks. Regarding strategic marketing, the university continues to engage in many partnerships with many universities, both national and international. And also, very strong working partnerships with the Uganda Manufacturers Association, the private sector, private sector foundation, and those organizations that take in our students. These partnerships continue to promote the university through joint research, joint publications, and joint engagements with many, many universities abroad. Mr. Chancellor, sir, today we are graduating students from the Faculty of Education, the Faculty of Science, and the Faculty of Engineering. Mr. Chancellor, sir, if you remember the words of the President on the first day, he said the university must focus on science, engineering, and education. And the advice of the president 
is not mere advice, it's a directive. And the University Senate will sit to see how his ideas can be brought on board. In the Faculty of Education, the faculty is graduating its first pioneer PhD students and want to congratulate the faculty for that achievement. These two PhD students are Dr. Sarah Kisa and Dr. June Patrick Ibigirwa, who are graduating with a PhD in education. And Mr. Chancellor, so also, if you remember the speech by the first lady, she was saying that you know the strength of the university by the number of PhD graduates they are pushing out every year. And I think we have started on a good note and we are going to move, continually move. And I want to urge deans to take this one as a challenge which we should respond to. In the area of research and innovation and knowledge generation, the Department of Early Childhood Education won a two and a half year grant worth 1.2 million Cardinian dollars from International Development Research Center. And they're working on a project which is inclusive home-based early learning project, increasing access to quality and equitable early child care and education. And this research is being done in collaboration with Masinde Molilo University of Science and Technology in Kenya and the University of Zimbabwe in Zimbabwe, of course. The faculty has also established partnerships with the Sense International, a leading global charity supporting people with deaf blindness for the purpose of implementing the IDRC research. The faculty is also partnering with AfriChild to train staff in child-focused research in collaboration with six other institutions, Makere University, Uganda Matters University, Uganda Christian University, Guru University, Moon University, and the Samizu Training Institute. The faculty is also involved in a project called Unlocking the Potential for Enhancing Teaching and Learning of Students with Visual Impairment in Uganda's public universities, looking at the role of assistive technologies. And this is funded under Research and Innovation Fund supported by the government of Uganda. Regarding institutional involvement, three members of staff attained PhDs in education in 2021. These are Dr. Godfrey Bagonza, Dr. Wilberforce Okongo, Dr. Joseph Wothumio, and they have added, they have been added to the pool of PhD holders in the faculty. Also to note, Mr. Chancellor said that one member of staff in the Department of Educational Planning and Management was promoted to a position of associate professor after assessing his teaching, research, and publications. And this member of staff is Dr. George Wilson Kasule from the Department of Educational Planning and Management. We congratulate George Wilson Kasule. The Faculty of Science has been very active in research and collaborations, and Dr. Gafuma Samuel received a grant under the Competitive Research Scheme of Chambogo University. Professor Wok received a grant from the Belgian Directorate General for Development Cooperation and Humanitarian Aid. Dr. Nach Singe received a grant with Canadian dollars, 50,000, to undertake a study titled Understanding the Impact of Selected Processing Variables on the Quality of Naturally Processed Arabic Coffee. And she also, in partnership with the University of Applied Sciences, Upper Austria, University of Namibia, and Debre Tabo University in Ethiopia, received a grant from Africa Uninet to undertake a study titled Indigenous Fruit and Nut Trees as Market Opportunities for Small-Scale Farmers in Namibia, Ethiopia, and Uganda. Dr. Sanyu Grace was awarded funds under the Competitive Research Grant of, Macari, of Chambogo University and is working on heavy metro hazards, especially in wetland fish species. You know, we need to understand what we are eating in our fish 
If we don't do that, we are likely to get heavy metals and get poisoning. She's also involved in a collaborative project between three countries, Austria, Uganda, Kenya, and Africa Unit Research Corporation, working on strengthening community-based research for river health and climate change mitigation in East Africa. Another member of staff, Dr. Kagwa Mere Nakabungo, from science, is collaborating with the University of Namibia and Danube University Krems, and they wrote a project which is going to be funded under the Phosphorus Negotiation Game SDGs in Action, how to address the standard, the sustainable development goals. We have a member of staff, Dr. Massa Justice, who received a grant from the European Union for a project aimed at using solar energy to convert water and carbon dioxide into fuels and chemicals. The project has a total of 14 consortium partners, 13 from Europe, and Chambogo University is the only non-European partner. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I'm sure you'll be interested in this project since you come from chemistry to look at how to convert water and carbon dioxide into fuels and chemicals. Also in the Department of Science, one of the members of staff from the Department of Food Science and Technology was promoted to a position of associate professor in recognition of his teaching, research, and publications in food science. And that member of staff is Dr. Edrisa Mugamposa. So we congratulate him also for being promoted to that level. So Mr. Chancellor, sir, you can see we are making progress in building our own professors. The Faculty of Engineering has established a memorandum of understanding with Hindustan Institute of Technology and Science in India, and that partnership will be supporting teaching and learning and research. The faculty also is in collaboration with University West in Sweden, and they have a grant for internationalization to work with the Faculty of Engineering and two other African partner universities, Dedan Kimathi University of Technology in Kenya and the University of Bua in Cameroon. And this internationalization project is intended to initiate collaboration between the partner universities. The faculty has also completed a project successfully which is the Higher Education Partnership for Sub-Saharan Africa, which was funded by the Royal Academy of Engineers in collaboration with Makere University, College of Engineering, Design, Art and Technology, Bustema University, Ndeje University, and Bara University. The objective of this project was to improve the quality of engineering training in the participating universities so as to produce skilled engineering graduates. I think this is timely, especially when you realize how many buildings in Kampara are collapsing due to some short day engineering work. So when you have qualified engineers, you can rest assured that our buildings will not collapse. In addition, the faculty has initiated a student mentorship program to support students to progress well with their studies and develop professional skills during the course of their training at the university. The faculty has also been involved in applying for research, especially through the Chambogo University Competitive Research Grants, and three members of staff, Dr. Chakura Michael, Dr. Anne Nakagiri, and Dr. Nyutha Charles, got funded and they are doing research in their various fields. So I want to congratulate members of staff and really applaud them those who are engaged in active research with many national and international partners to conduct research and exchange students. And this is the only way to go if you are in academia. The president told us the other day that we should not have this feeling of arrivism. When you get to a position, you say, ah, I have arrived, and you go to sleep. So we should continue working and promoting ourselves 
and promoting the university. The graduates, I want to congratulate you, all of you, for working hard and for staying the course up to this time when you attain these qualifications. I'm confident that you have made good networks in addition to acquiring knowledge and skills during your stay at the university. So I want to encourage you to avoid many temptations and challenges in the world and try and keep alive because parents have invested heavily in you and please don't cut your life short by reckless lifestyles. And be proud always of having gone through Chambogo University and serve your country wherever you may find yourself. The parents and guardians, thank you for sponsoring your students and investing in them. Parents deny themselves lots of pleasures in life to make sure that their children can go to school. We don't take that for granted. We want to thank you, parents. I want to thank in a special way the members of staff of Chambogo University, of the Ceremonies Committee, which is headed by, by Dr. Aaron Lawrence, and also Engineer Ambrose Agija, who has been here for the th last three days to make sure that things work properly. The members of the different committees of ceremonies, the academic registrar and the department of the academic registrar, and everybody who has made a contribution to the success of this occasion. Our media partners, NTV, and people managing different media outlets, I want to thank you very much. We have come to the end of this function. The starting was a bit bumpy, and many people believed that it would not take place, but it has taken place, and we thank God and all people involved in securing it. Our security people, agents here and around, we want to applaud you. So lastly, I want to thank the government of Uganda for continuing to, su to support the university in various ways. And I thank the president for his personal vision to transform this country through science and technology, and hence his personal drive to promote those areas of our economy. We must also give tribute to the president for his timely intervention and wise decisions taken to save the lives of many Ugandans, which would have been lost to the COVID-19 pandemic. His decisions sometimes were not palatable because every sector has got their own interests and they could not be catered at the same time. But the overall result is that the number of people dying from COVID is low compared to other countries, and we give him the credit for that. As you might have heard from his address yesterday, the president permitted institutions of higher learning to reopen with effect from 1st November 2021, on condition that staff and students get vaccinated. I therefore wish to call upon all staff and continuing students of Chambogo University to get vaccinated from wherever they are as we prepare to reopen. Senate will convene very soon to discuss modalities of reopening, but in the meantime, we must heed science and shun negative propaganda aimed at rejection of the vaccines against COVID-19 virus. But well, this virus is here, it kills, and even those who are saying it doesn't exist have lost their lives, or have lost their loved ones. So let us heed science and get vaccinated. When you get vaccinated, you don't, you don't die, or you don't get very severe disease effects. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you very much for coming to this last day of our 17th graduation. And I want to ask God to bless you richly and give you journey masses when you come to the time to go home. So I want to thank you very much for listening to me, knowledge and skills for service, and I say all this for God and my country. Thank you. Uh, at this point, I had mentioned that the convocation wants to recognize the best performing students. 
was to become the best student in the university is not a mean achievement. And I think we need to see these students and share in their pride. So may I invite the chair of, council, the chair of convocation to come here and make their presentation the best performing students. Thank you. To all our graduates, Our Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Chairperson Council, Council members present, Senate members, parents, I salute you all, invited guests. This is the first of its kind. I have one word to the graduates before I go ahead. The two people and all graduates of this year, 17th graduation ceremony. The best way to fit in the society is doing exactly what others are doing, but in a different way. You are not going to start anything new, but be innovative to fit in the society, having things that are known to others. Be resilient. Don't forget Chambogo. Come back. And I think I'll be presenting a paper to Senate such that there can be a better way to recognize different excelling students every year, such that uh, we keep in touch also, even after, to join us. Convocation is a body that is willing to receive you. Thank you so much. Now I want to take the honor as uh, our Vice Chancellor, Professor Eric Shaya Katunka, said that uh, we offer to the best two. Kenneth Mbogo is my name, Chairperson Convocation. Can I kindly have uh, Mr. Ruma Daniel Henry come for your present? This is what we have for you because this is the beginning of its kind. This is the uh, Roma Daniel Henry, the best student in, in the university with a CGPA 4.9 out of 5. And I think this is excellent performance. I present this to you. And I think after, we shall request you also to come and take a photo with the Chancellor and the Vice-Chancellor, just in between. Thank you. Look there. No one. And as we wait for this to go on, I also want to invite Miss Nara Singer Joan Mirembe, the best female student who has been pursuing a bachelor's in ICT. She scored 4.86 out of 5. We urge all alumni to come back, return home,
thank you so much in the same in the same way protocol observed go and take a picture with the university chancellor we encourage all alumni return home let us do our best but the convocation is waiting for you make sure you register with us to our students who are continuing use this chance to understand us better every time you think of giving up remember why you started i know the pandemic has affected some of you and you think giving up is a, a choice please don't every time you think of giving up also think about why you started thank you so much vice chancellor for this one thank you so much mc thank you uh, thank you very much uh, chair of convocation it's already it's always an honor to see such young people excel and i want to encourage you young people don't don't stop here continue aspiring for great achievements now please allow me to invite the chair of council dr gorit nakabugo to address us chair of council Thank you very much, Vice Chancellor, for the very rich, as usual, speech, and for the innovation in recognizing our excelling students. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, sir, again, kindly permit me to remove my mask for audibility, but also the mic has been sanitized. Mr. Chancellor, sir, religious leaders, members of council present here today, Vice-Chancellor, Chambogu University, Deputy Vice-Chancellors, a teaching and non-teaching staff of Chambogu University, the parents and guardians of our dear graduates, the graduates, those who are here and those who are observing the event online, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Chambogo University Council, and uh, at this particular moment, let me recognize the members of Council who have graced this event. Here we have Senior Council Sarah Babidia Rubega, the Vice Chair of Chambogo University Council. We have our Midist Dr. Mary Basasa Muhenda, who is also the Chairperson of Appointments Board of Chambogo University. We have Mr. Kenneth Mbogo, the chairperson of convocation and a member of council. We have Reverend Dr. Grace Lubale. We have Mr. Jackson Bethama joining us today. We have Mr. Francis Sinsamba, member of council. We have Dr. Catherine Wandela. We have uh, our dear Vice Chancellor, Professor Eli, Eli Katunguka Ratshire. We have Professor Maria Musoke, the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academic Affairs. And lastly, but not least, we have our uh, Mr. Charles Okello, the University Secretary, but also Secretary to Council. So on behalf of those members of Council here today and those who are connecting to this event online, I wish to welcome all invited guests, parents, and graduates to the 17th graduation ceremony. This is the end of a three-day event. This is 17th graduation ceremony started on Tuesday, the 21st September, 2021, and is ending today, Thursday, the 23rd September, 2021. During the first two days, a number of graduates were conferred upon their degrees and diplomas in various disciplines. I thank God for having enabled us to complete the two days successfully. Like the Vice Chancellor noted, I mean, this is, we all know, this is not a normal environment. But 
this was even a much more unique uh, graduation. The management really overcame, I mean, against all odds, we have successfully held this graduation, and we thank the Almighty God for that. Today is our last day of the 17th graduation ceremony, where the last group of graduates will be awarded their degrees, diplomas, and certificates. I congratulate, upon, I congratulate the parents, guardians, and the graduates for successfully completing their studies. Uh, graduates, you are now ready to join the world of work and contribute to the well-being of your families and to national development. Like the chair of convocation has said, what makes a difference between any one employee is creativity and innovativeness. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me once again to thank His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, and the First Lady and Honorable Minister of Education and Sports, who graced the first day of the 17th graduation ceremony. We are grateful for their words of wisdom and guidance that will guide management and council on the way forward as we strive to achieve our vision and, and mission. And especially we take note of the guidance of the president on emphasizing the issue of skills development, which has become so pertinent, especially with the challenges that have been posed by the pandemic. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the university is grateful for Honorable Minister of State for Higher Education, Honorable Jesse Muyingo, who joined us yesterday Wednesday, Wednesday, 22nd September to 2021, and graced the 17th graduation ceremony. I wish to reiterate that we shall continue to recognize and appreciate his guidance and love for Chambogo University. We really recognize you, Honorable Minister of State for Higher Education. In the same way, the university is very grateful for the government's support and guidance to the leadership of academic institutions in Uganda, especially during this time when we are grappling with COVID-19 pandemic. I think all over the world, I think the most difficult docket to hold as a minister is a docket of being a minister of education. It's very challenging all over, but we thank uh, the leadership of uh, of the Minister of Education, Mama Janet Kataham Seven, and uh, the State Ministers and other leaders in the Ministry for continuing to guide us and ensuring that every child, wherever they are, despite the challenges, enjoy the right to education. Mr. Chancellor, sir, and our invited guests, the University Council wishes to thank, in a very special way, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Eli Katunguka Rachshire and the entire management for providing good and exemplary leadership to the university. This, I mean, this was a very, very challenging time, and I think any weak leader would not have survived such a challenging situation. But during this time, the university has managed to organize teaching and learning, held examinations, and finally organized this virtual 17th graduation despite the very many challenges that I don't have to really overemphasize. Uh, Vice Chancellor, we are very, very delighted to be working with a very capable and decisive leader who moves things, so we thank you very much. Any round of applause? <laughs> thank you very much. So the University Council wishes to extend its grad gratitude to the government of Uganda once again and to, uh, to the voice of the Vice Chancellor for the continued support to Chambogo University that has ensured the smooth running of the university. The university is very grateful for the financial support from government that has helped in construction and maintenance of, in of its infrastructure, payment of staff salaries and wages, uh, material acquisition, which has enabled us to offer quality education and uh, to our students. I think, I mean, studying in a beautiful uh, com complex or so campus like ours, I think, is an added advantage, and we are very grateful to to 
to, the uni uh, to government for their continued support, despite the financial challenges that we are facing that have affected the entire economy. Mr. Chancellor, sir, and our invited guests, over the last years, the University Council has continued to provide strategic guidance to the university. The fifth council governing the university, the university was constituted on the 30th October uh, 2020 and inaugurated on 4th February 2021. Uh, basically, this is actually our first graduation to oversee as, as council. So it's very historic to, <laughs> to us. Despite the COVID-19 restrictions, the University Council has continued to work within the, no the new normal and approved various policies and guidelines. Many of those have been highlighted by the Vice Chancellor in his speech. But among others, we approved the strategic plan for the period 2020-21 to 2024-25. And that's, we thank management under the leadership of the Vice Chancellor who drove that process of putting in place a strategic plan that has now been approved. We also approved the annual budget for the financial year 2021-22 and the revised financial manual, financial management manual to comply with national and international standards for financial management. As the supreme, supreme organ of this university, Council is committed to continue providing direction to the direction on the academic and administrative functions and ensure that the university operates efficiently and effectively for all stakeholders. Mr. Chancellor, sir, and our invited guests, I feel very honored to speak to the graduates of this 17th graduation and I wish to congratulate all of you graduates for successfully completing your studies. You deserve a round of applause. Especially to me, this really brings back very good memories. 25 years ago, I graduated with a bachelor's degree in education. And my father here, the vice, uh, the Mr. Chancellor Sir, is here, who signed my, my, my certificate. And every time I attend a graduation where Faculty of Education is graduating. It's very special to me, personally, so I congratulate you in a very, very special way. But as, uh, as the Vice Chancellor also noted, uh, in a special way, we congratulate uh, those graduating with PhDs in different fields. That also shows that, I mean, I think this is the first time as Chambogo University we are graduating PhDs. Or the second, okay, it's so the second, um, second time that we're doing, doing it. So it shows that we are not only training, but we are also contributing to knowledge generation. So wish you the very best to the PhD graduates as you join the club that generates knowledge for the country. To you all graduates, Congratulations. I mean, completing a degree is a sacrifice. But you are also among very, very few individuals who transitioned from primary to secondary and then higher education. So we are very, very proud of you and look forward to your contribution. In the same way, we thank your parents and guardians who sacrificed a lot to put you where you are. Please always remember your guardians and parents. And whatever success you do, remember also to improve the well-being of, of your families. In the same way, I wish to thank the members of staff who have worked so hard, sometimes in very challenging situations, to ensure that they have nurtured you well to reach this day. So members of staff, we thank you very much and we celebrate you. Dear graduates, today marks an important day in your career as you receive your hard earned degrees, diplomas and certificates, and you are being ushered into the world of work. The university has nurtured and sharpened your skills over the years of your stay here. 
council is very confident that you'll put to good use the knowledge and skills that you have acquired and that you'll continue searching for knowledge. Learning doesn't end. And by the way, when we say that you continue learning, I mean, learning is a lifelong process. We don't mean that you go searching for more degrees and degrees and degrees. You might have even three degrees without adding anything to yourselves. So continued learning means that you're actually learning to better yourselves and better and enhancing what you do in society. So wish you all, all the very best. I wish to assure management and staff and students that the University Council is committed to continue providing a conducive environment for the advancement and promotion of knowledge and development of skills in science, technology, and education for the progress and transformation of our society as set out in our strategic plan that we just approved recently. Like I said, it's just one year since we were inaugurated as, as Council. And uh, councils all over the world, and as reflected in, in our strategic plan, have a number of priorities that they set out to achieve. But in order to remain focused and make a visible impact on the university during the four-year period that we have, we have committed ourselves to three top priorities. And this is working very closely with, uh, with management. We hope we can show something visible and measurable at the end of the four years. Our number one priority is resource mobilization to ensure that the university is sustainable. Obviously, government, this being a government institution, government will always remain the major funder of, of the university. But universities all over the world are actually facing financial challenges, especially the pressure that the pandemic has put on all institutions has, have not spared uh, Chambogo University. So we hope that we can devise ways of diversifying uh, the resources uh, of the university to make it a very, very good place to be. Number two is investment in information and communication technology for improved teaching and learning, research and governance. The Vice Chancellor very, very articulately highlighted the achievements that we've made in this field. But we would want to do much more, especially now this cannot be overemphasized. ICT will continue to play a very big role. And we want to continue investing in this area as our number two priority. Number third priority is infrastructure development so that we are able to provide a conducive environment for students and staff. One might even wonder, oh, with all these infrastructures that they've put, very beautiful roads, very beautiful teaching and learning facilities, do they want to do more? Yes, we want to do much, much more, and uh, we hope that we can attain that. We are confident that through partnering with government and other private entrepreneurs, we can deliver on this promise. As we celebrate our students who are graduating this week, We hope that uh, eventually the situation will be managed to ensure that all students and learners elsewhere at all levels are able to resume their studies. We look forward to officially reopening the university for first-to-first -first classes on the 1st of November 2021, consistent with the presidential directives of yesterday. We thank His Excellency for having relaxed the restrictions to enable the uh, education institutions of higher learning to start planning for reopening the universities about a month from now. So we look forward to that as Chambogo University and as the Vice Chancellor emphasized, we council also calls upon all members of staff and students to please go and get vaccinated to keep yourself safe but also to safeguard the lives of the other people that you interact with having opened i mean hopefully and i'm sure we shall make it to reopen the university on 20 on the 1st of, of november 
So that will enable us to reach all students, including those that have had challenges to fully participate in online classes. I mean, we say that we have worked against all odds to ensure that teaching and learning happened, but it must have been extremely challenging. I mean, with a very unstable internet connections, one can imagine that a few students may have struggled a lot and others may be left behind. But we hope that with the face-to-face -face, um, interaction now that is coming very soon, that no student will be left behind. Nevertheless, we shall also continue to develop our ICT resources, like I highlighted in the top priorities of council. We shall continue to develop our ICT resources to enable blended learning to continue, even when the university has reopened for physical classes. I know the vice chancellor is very, very committed to ensure that ICT actually becomes a major driver of what we do in, in this university. And indeed, the role of ICT is here to stay, even when the pandemic is long gone. And through our faculty of education, we shall continue to partner with government and other education actors to ensure continuity of learning for millions of children for whom school remains closed until next year, 2022. Mr. Ch uh, Chancellor Sir and, and Vice Chancellor, I think we are lucky we have, um, Achambogo University has one of the very strong faculties of education with our Professor Joyce Aikolu under the leadership. They are very innovative. They do a lot, as you saw that uh, the Vice Chancellor highlighted. But the COVID-19 pandemic poses even another demand to all education institutions, where, wherever we are, to ask ourselves, yes, schools are closed. What can we do to ensure that those who are working at, at home, how can they continue to learn? If school is closed, can we take school to, to their homes? And I think this is something that we can also continue to, through our faculty of education, to contribute to. We shall also continue uh, to play our part as a university in any way possible to contribute to ensuring that schools are ready for reopening in January 2022, in any way possible. Once again, I wish to thank you, Mr. Chancellor, sir, and everyone in your various capacities for gracing this occasion and for listening to me. To the graduates, I congratulate you so much and wish you well in your future careers. Congratulations. I know and I believe everyone here knows and is confident that you have all it takes to thrive in a very, very uncertain world. The world is very, very uncertain. And I think we saw this very, very visible, uh, visibly in our lifetime. Even with one or two or three degrees, the pandemic destabilized everyone. But we hope that with the skills and nurturing that you have received from this great university, that you thrive and make a difference to your personal lives and the lives of your families, the communities, and this country at large. I thank you once again, and uh, I remain yours, Mary Goretti Nakabugo, the chairperson of Chambago University Council, knowledge and skills for service for God and my country. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chair of Council, for that inspiring speech and for your advice. So now it's my honor to invite the Chancellor of Chambogo University, 
Professor J.P. Sebufu to address the gathering. Most welcome, Vice Chancellor. Good Chancellor, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, I have taken a cue from the Vice Chancellor and the Chairperson of the University Council, so I will also unmask so that you can hear me, hear me better. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm delivering this uh, speech were seated instead of over there at the Lacton, and at the risk of uh, overboring you with my <laughs> little problem in the feet, going down and then up uh, again it takes a little bit of time and effort. So allow me, as usual, to deliver this address to you who are seated. Uh, it's not a sign of rudeness uh, or disrespect in any way, uh, far from it. And now, you may wonder, after uh, such magnificent and well-delivered speeches by the Vice-Chancellor and the Chairperson of the Council, what else is has the Chancellor got to say to us uh, that that's different? Well, my answer is that it, it is, no, what I'm going to say is all very different, but to emphasize some of the, uh, the, the very important points they have uh, highlighted in their speeches, and also to uh, add my own uh, voice to what's happening in our institution at this time. Uh, the, the chairperson of Chambogo University Council, Dr. Mary Goretti Nakabugo, the vice chairperson of Chambogo University Council, senior council, Sarah Rovega, members of Chambogo University Council, those who are here and those who may be uh, listening to us uh, online. The Vice Chancellor of this of our university, Professor Katunguka, the Deputy Vice Chancellors, and other principal officers of uh, the university, the Vice Chancellors, Rectors, and Principals of other institutions, members of staff of Chambogo University, uh, distinguished guests here present, uh, parents, guardians, and benefactors who may be listening to us or watching the proceedings online and on television, and the graduates who are here and those who are uh, uh, at, uh, at home but following these proceedings using the, the new technology. Uh, and as we will see later, I will talk about the new normal. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as we approach the end of the 17th graduation ceremony, which I must say has been a very colorful ceremony, despite being virtual, 
I wish to thank first Honorable Jesse Muyingo, Minister of State for Higher Education, who yesterday presided over the second session of this ceremony. We really appreciated his happiness with the level of cleanliness of the university and other new developments like buildings and roads. We also noted his prayer. He had a prayer wishing universities, including our own here, to increase access and equity and to put emphasis on the use of ICT in the teaching and research. We also appreciated his good advice on many other things. He further thanked the University Council and management for putting to an end to what had become a perennial vice of strikes and closure of the university. He was very, very pleased with that. So, second, my heart is sincere thanks to His Excellency the President, uh, His Excellency Yoweri Tibuhabura Kagutam Seven. Uh, President of the Republic of Uganda and the university's visitor who virtually officiated at the first session of the ceremony and Mama Janet Kataham Seveni, the first lady of Uganda and the Minister of Education and the Sports who also graced the occasion virtually. We appreciated their thought-provoking speeches and took note of the good advice contained therein. In the same vein, I welcome our graduates who are the reason we are assembled here today. They are parents, guardians, and benefactors who may be watching the proceedings online or on television, as well as the honorable ministers and distinguished guests. Thank you for joining us. May the Almighty God bless each of you and make this day a reminder of everything we should be grateful for. Sometimes we forget to thank the, the Lord for all the good things he has done for us and it, we just lament the, the, the negative ones. But there is a lot the good Lord is doing. He, had, he has never stopped the supply of oxygen in the air. So it is, why should we complain? And without oxygen, as a chemist, I know the, 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 this, the, 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 the sugar in the cells cannot be burned into energy, water, and carbon dioxide. Ladies and gentlemen, today Chambogo University is holding its 17th graduation virtually with a very limited physical presence here at the main campus, as you already observed. This is the first virtual graduation ceremony that Chambogo University is having due to the COVID-19 pandemic which has disrupted most of the normal activities of the university. Allow me to thank His Excellency the President and his COVID-19 task force for their tireless efforts to manage the pandemic and to ensure that as many of us are still remain uh, safe, and as he said yesterday, dead people don't work, dead people don't do business, the people don't go to bars and, and so on. So let's make sure that we put up with these inconveniences despite the, uh, the hardships they cause to us. This graduation ceremony is a milestone in itself, which we attribute to the good leadership commitment and cooperation among the university staff at all levels, because without 
you cooperating with the management, with our management cooperating with the council and the so on, things uh, hold, hold uh, grind to hold. And it, uh, all of you at all levels who have worked hand hard, moreover during this very difficult period, so we can be here today. I pay special tribute to the Vice Chancellor and his team for, you know, he's a shy man, he doesn't want to, uh, to, 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 to mention this, but uh, uh, let's call a spade a spade mm -hmm. to, for the monumental achievements. We have had them. Some of us were here uh, in the, when, I first, when I was posted here as principal of the then Institute of Teacher Education, Chambogo ITEC, in 1990, I couldn't believe that I'm living in Makere much as it was also in the shambles and coming to an institution like like this. But we strived with a little, the, the, the little, very very little resources, and tried to put things where we could on the on the right path. But for me, see, 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 cleanliness, cleanliness is something I take uh, seriously. Uh, uh, I hate dirty things, dirty people, and uh, much as I'm no, I may not have much to offer in the way of beauty, uh, <laughs> uh, I, 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 I like beautiful things. Uh, I, I want to say you to I wish I'd come with my wife here, you would be surprised. <laughs> so, so, you, 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 you. Uh, 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 there was no water, running water. The taps had dried up a long time ago, and we were forced to buy a Bowser, and our tractor, instead of doing work on the farm, was always busy shuttling between uh, here and Rugogo to fetch water. Until I said, for God's sake, enough is enough. And I had a very good old Kenyan technician here called Jamungu. Jamungu, I, 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 I was wondering how I could uh, uh, put the things right in terms of water supply. And he, he came to me and said, Buana, I can help you. And I said, sure. And he said, he said, you give me the materials, I will show you. So I asked the, the council, reluctantly they allowed me to, to use some resources. And we bought, we put up a new water retituation system. And we had to get also water from Tinda Matters Way. And on the, on the, on the, uh, during the process, we, we didn't know that we, <laughs> the pipe was passing through somebody's plot. And before I knew it, there was somebody knocking at the principal's door. Sir, are you, uh, I'm taking you to court. And I said, yeah, you have trespassed on my property. Who told you to put uh, uh, a pipe through my property? And I said, no, because uh, it got permission from the National Water and Sewage Corporation. But somehow, the, the man wanted to, to, to take us to court, but we managed to persuade him. We didn't palm grease, but uh, we persuaded him to drop the idea. So that one was, and uh, before we know it, I, we had water running again, the toilets that had, uh, the waterborne toilets that had stopped working, we are working again, and the, 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 the then Minister of Education, uh, I think sports came in a little bit later. I want to add a little bit today. To come and, uh, and uh, 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 commission uh, the, the system. And he, he too was amazed. So I want to thank them for these monumental achievements, including the increase in the number of staff with a PhD degree to over 190 and counting, which, has, which he has highlighted in his wonderful speech. 
All this has been achieved as a result of hard work and indeed brain power at its best. Let's, let's say it loud and clear. People think, sit down, think, and plan, and then things don't uh, happen by accident, unfortunately. You have to sit, plan, and mobilize resources. For This is a commendable performance deserving a bit of applause from us all. I'm pleased to note that in spite of the COVID-19 pandemic, our university has continued to forge collaboration with the national, international uh, institutions and partners in its quest to develop new technologies and knowledge in the various disciplines through acquisition of new ideas and new ways of doing things. We, uh, this is a heritage development that allows Chambogo University to benchmark with the, with the other institutions for best practice if it's to remain vibrant and up to date. And I thank the Vice Chancellor and team for putting the university on, on, on a proper academic course. He's a real serious academician, so he, he, know, when he, he, he knows how important it is to make sure that the university is, research, is, is as research-based as possible. I'm also reliably informed that the university has also strengthened the capacity of its staff to carry out high level, I repeat, high level research. Because some of us have seen the, the, the uh, when I was at Makerere, I really used to laugh at some, some of the, 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 the research proposals and uh, the people say, uh, maybe it made sense to them, but to me it didn't. Determinants of beer drinking in Uganda. <laughs> so things like that. And I said, ah, what, is it? what is this? <laughs> and, uh, but that's why I emphasize high level. It's not, don't engage in uh, trivia and, uh, trivia, uh, and, 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 and uh, uh, meaningless research. And by the way, he has, uh, the Vice Chancellor has emphasized that you should, you should never plagiarize other people's work. It is very, very bad and very, very, it reflects negatively on you. Uh, without taking too much time, I remember, uh, I will not mention the name, but there was a very, a very famous uh, civil rights uh, fi uh, fighter in the USA. Uh, he had a doctorate uh, from Boston uh, College or Boston University, I forget. Yeah, I think it's Boston College. And uh, as you know, uh, the, the basis of a, a PhD is a, is a thesis of uh, the research you've carried out. Uh, and uh, when he died, uh, under very st uh, tragic circumstances, his wife uh, enthusiastically donated the, uh, the, his thesis to one of the top universities in, in America. Again, I will not reveal the name of the university. Uh, and because I think there was this feeling that who is this uh, stupid black man who has been disorganizing it as, let's look at his thesis. So they subjected it to, uh, to, to, to a, a, a system that detects plagiarism. And in this, a good part of the thesis was, had been plagiarized from another thesis. It was terrible, but there you are. So it don't uh, heed the, the, the wording that uh, you should stick to. Yes, you, you do a literature search, 
and you, of course you acknowledge the, ref, the, the, the source, the reference, if, and, and, and so on. That's perfectly normal, but not to, to, not to uh, lift other people's work and pass them as your own. I think the, this capacity to, to innovate, to do research, and to generate new knowledge, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Prize Excellency, the President, witnessed, witnessed some of these uh, uh, renovations during the science exhibition held during the 16th graduation in December 20. 19. I know the, you've been teaching, and as you've heard, you are now uh, uh, teaching using new methodologies, the Odell. I know some of, some, of, some of you may be uncomfortable with this new technology, but you have a choice. You either, as they say in as the, there was a disadage that publish or perish. So adjust to learn the, the, the new tech, the new method, mode of uh, curriculum delivery or forget about being a, a member of staff of uh, a university. Please make every effort to keep yourself uh, to uh, up to date in that area, much as you may find it a bit difficult. I'm told the university is committed to do um, even more in research and innovation for the scientific and technology, ad technological advancement of our country. The president has been emphasizing this. All countries that have developed have developed as a result of science and technology, the Fords of the Fords, of, the Fords, uh, Rockefellers, and the Firestones of USA didn't uh, become free rich and didn't contribute to the development of uh, of of, uh, of USA by any other means except science and technology. Thomas Edison, and so on. I will not go into the details of how they changed even the world. So that's not very, this is very important. That, that means we are, not, we are not belittling the other disciplines. I really love the arts that uh, the, for development. Let's give a little bit of emphasis to this uh, to science and technology. We well, thank you, Your Excellency, for this. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to register my sincere thanks to the government of Uganda through our Mother Ministry of Education and Sports for taking special interest in supporting public universities. DDD have done their best, and in particular, Chambogo University. And as you had, they have also set up a competitive research fund which we, our researchers can access. And as you had, and as you can see around you, through the African Development Bank, uh, Higher Education Science and Technology Project, the university was able to construct uh, uh, new buildings. I was pleasantly surprised when I, I discovered that he, what used to be near the hall gave way to an event to uh, uh, this new and wonderful structure for the faculty, faculty of, of management and, and entrepreneurship. And as I've also been told that besides the new buildings, even the old ones, uh, not all, but some of the old ones, and the, you know, the existing ones, were renovated. 
the, the new laboratory work and the new laboratories and workshops were equipped with the state of the art equipment and the machinery which are critically important in quality teaching and research. As we all know, we cannot produce hands-on graduates without good equipment, good, sorry, good equipment and tools. It's, it's next to impossible. It's like asking somebody to go and dig without a hole or what any other uh, uh, implement you need for for hoeing. In the same token, allow me to extend my appreciation to the fourth university council, which was headed by my good friend, Professor Johnny Okedi, for their good work and for all the excellent contributions which went a long way to stabilize the university. This allowed the university to run smoothly with the minimal disruptions, if any. And I warmly welcome members of the new and the fifth council under the stewardship of my, my other very good friend, Dr. Mary Goretti Nakabugo, who is here, uh, and her colleagues, uh, the, the deputy, uh, senior council, uh, Africa. Uh, I congratulate you to you, the new members of council, on your appointment and the sub of you, the appointment. Uh, and I also thank you for, con for your continued guidance and support to management as they strive to ensure the university realizes its mission and vision. The setting up of a competitive research fund uh, out of it, the university's own resources is noted and appreciated. It is now up to the academic staff to apply for research funds through good proposals. At the risk of taking, up, taking a little bit more time, this reminds me of uh, another university where I was. I will not mention the name. The, the, there was a perennial, a perennial song that, well, we cannot do research because we don't have funds. So the vice chancellor went out of his way and uh, found funds. Uh, and so and he said, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, now you, we have some, we have funds. Can you apply it for, for them to do research? And everybody recoiled. <laughs> so it is. It is not, but this is a good proposal. So you, 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 a good, a good initiative. So it is up to you, members of staff, to apply for research funds through good proposals. And to all members of Senate and top management and staff under the leadership of the Vice Chancellor, Professor Katunguka, uh, I sincerely thank you for your efforts and hard work in developing the university. You have wisely used the available resources and structures to improve service delivery in spite of the occasional differences and challenges, which are always there in a normal high education institution. Remember, the uh, high education institution like university, the people there are supposed to be highly intelligent. Uh, some of them say, ah, who are these people? I can do their job better than, than, than them. So these are things we put up with, but as long as they don't get degenerate into other ugly things. Um, No doubt it's your commitment to duty uh, that uh, has led to the realization of this first ever virtual graduation ceremony, as I said earlier. I commend you for the excellent teamwork and urge you to keep it up 
as we strive to take Chambogo to greater heights as the chair the chairperson of council pointed out. I congratulate all members of staff who attained PhD and master's degrees. And I know three of them are graduating today uh, during the, uh, so these, these members of staff who attained these uh, degrees during the period under review, the current. So we, uh, I want to also point out, as I've already done, uh, probably, uh, that the acquisition of a PhD degree makes you a research leader. So you become a research leader, and you, you must start supervising others uh, to, so that they can also attain their PhDs. The more students you supervise, the, many, the more papers you can get right, and of course, uh, the, the more recognition you receive. Uh, if you don't, then you can't do, you can't progress. Uh, uh, therefore, those of you who have received your PhDs, a lot is expected from you in terms of research outputs. I further congratulate all academic staff who were promoted to the ranks of senior lecturers, senior lecturer, associate, and the full professor during the same period. Well, I thank you for the hard work that has earned you these promotions. Let me ask to add that you two are part of the university's research leaders. It is not yet time, it is not time, and it will never be available, perhaps until you cease to be part of the academia, to sit back, relax, and forget all about research. So you say, I've already achieved the topmost rank. No. Needless to say, good teaching goes with hand in hand with quality research. So you cannot be a good lecturer if you don't engage in some form of research. To now to the graduates, and I'm slowly coming to the end. I extend hearty congratulation to you on reaching this milestone and arriving at this long awaited day, which I'm sure you have been anxiously looking forward to for a long time. I'm pleased to learn that you have been able to adjust to the new normal, which I mentioned earlier as a new way of living with the inconvenience of coping with the precautionary measures the government has put in place to control uh, the uh, transmission and spread of the COVID-19 causing virus. So we could go, so we could go on, get on with our lives, go about with our work and uh, to some extent, be able to socialize with our fellow human beings. We are aware that you were supposed to graduate in December 2020, but due to the disruptions and lockdowns brought about by COVID-19 pandemic, you had to wait till now. I thank you for the patience and understanding. These were circumstances beyond our control. The completion of your degrees is indeed a very important achievement to you and all those who supported you and contributed to your education. I thank you for staying in the course all the way from kindergarten, or now sometimes called it the preschool, to the university. Many you started with, 
uh, uh, started school with fell by the wayside. And as the chairperson of council has pointed out, by the time we get to university, it's only a tiny, a tiny percentage of those who started school uh, uh, at, the, uh, at, at the same time. So, it, it look, consider yourself not not as privileged, but but as uh, the people who have stayed the the course, uh, come no, no matter what you you come what you may. You said I must, I have a goal, and I must achieve that goal in life. And and as you exit the gates of your alma mater, Chambogu University, to join the world of work, I wish you on behalf of the university success and the very best in all future endeavors. Be good ambassadors for your university. This has been emphasized and over and over. And as Honorable Dr. Jesse Moyinga advised, go and use the knowledge and skills you have acquired here to serve your community and the country. However, allow me to remind you that, as you've heard from my, my, some of the previous speakers, that uh, learning has not ended here. It is a continuous process, be lifelong learners, because as you probably know, there are many benefits to being a lifelong learner. And as the world continues to discover and invent new things and new ways of doing things through innovation, and technological advances, it is critically important that you keep upgrading yourself, uh, yourselves through acquisition of new knowledge and skills, not necessarily by acquiring more and more degrees, as the chairperson has council has said, but uh, you, the, you can upgrade yourself by, through other ways. I implore you to put your degrees to good use. Don't use the, your uh, your smartphones. They have those, the brain that goes into making those gadgets is a high level. So you you, you just use your smartphones for uh, you know WhatsApp chat and uh, whatever Facebook. Oh yeah, that's okay. But also use it to them for other good things, the acquisition of new knowledge. People are no longer interested in reading. I don't know why, but uh, I find that very strange because uh, even at my age, uh, I, I still enjoy reading and reading new things. What do other people you say? And so you become very, very narrow-minded, and uh, I, I don't know what. Uh, no, let me not go there. I employ, I therefore employ you, or oh sorry, employ, implore you to put your degrees to good use and do not ever allow yourselves to degenerate into the mentality that acquiring a degree here means you have arrived, as you've had, and the, the, the president has been emphasizing that uh, the, the university is grappling with how to 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 uh, internalize that to, uh, and uh, understand the implications in a special way i congratulate all graduates who are graduating with the first class honors degrees thank you for this excellent performance and the extremely hard work you put in uh, so as a, a, a famous physicist who lived many years ago, uh, Sir Isaac Newton uh, put it, uh, it, it is 90% uh, uh, aspiration, that is hard work, and only 10% inspiration. inspiration. 
Oh, so the, the your it is only ten percent of your brain power you use, but otherwise it is uh, most of it is uh, hard work. So be proud of your achievements. Uh, I thank uh, I, I, I thank uh, or I congratulate in this very special way uh, I, I pay tribute not only congratulate but pay tribute to the topmost performer performing uh, students uh, and those first class graduates and you saw two of them here a boy 4.93 out of a GP, a GP of 5. It's no mean achievement. And I'm still waiting to see if students will score 5 out of 5. But uh, our, our best student here almost, almost did it. So congratulations to that. That is a very, very, uh, very, it's, you are a good example. Not only are you brilliant, but also you can, it's your, your, your colleagues and peers and can learn from you how to make sure you, 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 you use your intellect to the best of your ability. I also thank uh, the, our partners and the, now chair, the chairperson of, the, of our convocation who, who donated trophies and other me me mementos in recognition of the outstanding performance. To the guardians, and I'm coming to the, uh, slowly to the conclusion. To the, to the parents, guardians, and the benefactors, without exaggeration, graduation is a sweet dream come true for you too. It is really a sweet dream. I sincerely thank you for your immense financial and material support to the graduates, which enabled them to pursue their studies to successful completion. I know it has not been always easy, but without your contribution, it might not have been possible for them to complete their studies here. This is indeed a huge investment you made on their behalf, and the return on your investment is the, the degrees and other awards they are receiving today. Finally, that's why have you have uh, decided to to offer use my time because this is the last day uh, of our wonderful ceremony. So you, uh, you, uh, you excuse me for having uh, been so extravagant with the time, uh, to the, uh, the risk of boring you. Uh, but uh, finally, as we come to the end of uh, the 17th graduation ceremony, uh, permit me to extend my sincere appreciation to the following. You see, as the there is a saying that uh, 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 you must, if you don't say thank you to those who help to you, it, 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 they, they may never help you again. <laughs> and uh, so they, they, they are, we must pay, uh, pay tribute to them. First, uh, to the organizing committee of this ceremony for a job well done. It's see, I understand you've really gone through almost sleepless nights to ensure that uh, things work. Uh, 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 members of the security forces for ensuring we had a safe and secure ceremony. The catering staff, for those of us who I've been a, a little privileged to have some <laughs> some eats here. The, for the, the, the delicious foods, uh, and, uh, oh, let me just say, delicious food and other goodies. 
That's you. The music disc jockeys, or maybe just, or selectors, as they are sometimes called in the trade, I want to thank you for, for your performance. The ushers who are over there, thank you too. Uh, the, the deans and the, the assistants. Oh, I thought I'd lost the page. <laughs> uh, and the assistant and the assistants who had to read long lists of graduates with ease. You know, just, uh, I was, it was amazing. People didn't do, they need water, didn't need water. They did. They did. Uh -huh. My beautiful young um, Miss Bearers, these young ladies, the, 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 unfortunately, I didn't get their names properly, but uh, uh, I am I, very pleased with them. I want to thank them. This thing is not easy to carry. Uh, it is a little heavy. So, yeah. Uh -huh. the, uh, and, uh, and also, uh, the, 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 sorry, uh, the, the young man from the, was it, the uh, performing art department, arts department, uh, and, the, the, and the, his team, who composed and performed for us that wonderful tune. Uh, and it reminded us of the olden days. And I almost, if I, I, I had what it takes to, 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 to enjoy uh, a, a, a night out in a disco, I almost wanted to join them. And uh, today you are. Thank you so much. It's, the tune was very interesting. Uh, I want to... The, my driver, Mr. Jude Bruno Othieno, uh, who, and the, uh, the, the Assistant Inspector of Police, Madame Annette uh, Cadiochi, or Cadioli, sorry, for, uh, who was in charge of the the lead car for making it possible for me to get here on time always thank you very much uh, uh, today to the to the deputy vice uh, the, the, i want also to uh, uh, to thank the uh, the vice chancellor and it and and it, and, and the team who have worked with me here and ensured I was reading the right cards. I don't just say these words, I confer upon you. No, uh, they give me the, the right card, and, uh, and, uh, and my poor pronunciations and reading notwithstanding, there are things I couldn't understand. Is it a par a parel, a pal? Uh, that, that's something. I, I'm challenged. He, last night I wanted to look it up on the internet, and that I, 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 because I had other things to do, and I had to make sure I have some some rest, so I couldn't. But I will go and look for the, those words. Dietetic, dietetics. That is also something. That, uh, I was I was almost biting my tongue. So my poor. Pronunciation and reading, notwithstanding. The, the DBC Academic Affairs, Professor Maria, Maria Musoke, my old friend from uh, our years together at Makerere and elsewhere, uh, together with the academic registrar and the staff there, who worked so hard to ensure that the graduation booklet was accurately produced. Uh, thank you very much. And that every finalist who had completed all requirements 
was it? There was a lot of bit of ukerere uh, out there, at, at, uh, but I'm glad you stood, you, you stood your ground and made sure that only those who had fulfilled all requirements uh, graduated. So thank you so much also for ensuring that. I thank all of you and wish you a safe journey back at our a grad ones now grad are soon to be graduates happy celebrations this is your day for for god and my country knowledge and skills for service may the good lord richly bless you another round of applause to our chancellor for the fatherly, friendly, interesting, exciting remarks. We thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chancellor, for those remarks. They are a clear testimony that this institution is steadily and steadily moving towards joining the League of Universities, whose aspiration is to remain locally relevant and globally recognized. At this juncture, Mr. Yes. Chancellor, sir, sir, allow me to welcome allow me to welcome the Vice Chancellor who will call upon deans of faculties to present names of graduates who have satisfied requirements for confinement of degrees and award of diplomas and certificates. Professor Erika Tungu. Uh, thank you very much. I now call upon the deans to present the graduates in their respective faculties stroke schools for the confirmation of degrees and award of diplomas and certificates of Chambogo University. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to unmask so that I'm able to talk better audibly. Uh, thank you. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of Chambogo University. Bijirwa June Patrick. Mr. Chancellor, sir, Bijirwa June Patrick investigated the critical organizational factors that influence adoption of e-learning and his focus was on selected public and non-profit midwifery schools in Uganda. Mr. Chancellor, sir, from the previous speeches, we note that uh, this is not only a topical uh, research, but timely study, as many education institutions are grappling with migrating from the normal way of doing things to the new normal. Mr. June's study revealed that there are many factors that influence, but the top three critical organizational factors that influence sustainable adoption of e-learning are one, online quality management practices, which accounted for 55.5% of the variance in the adoption of e-learning. The second critical factor was technology leadership practices, 
which accounted for 47.5% of the variance. And the third critical factor was instructional design strategies, which accounted for 38.7% of the variance in the adoption of e-learning. The study recommended and came up with a profile of critical factors that organizations and institutions need to focus on for sustainably adopting e-learning. Mr. Jude was supervised by Dr. Stephen Dowler and Dr. Francis Naluemba, both senior lecturers in the Faculty of Education. We congratulate you, uh, June Patrick Bijirwa, for this attainment. You can now walk for your... And I think I, I know, and I think I know it. Uh, by virtue of the authority I have trusted to be, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of Makerere University, <laughs> of Chambogo University, Apologie, 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 of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the second graduate for the conferment of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Education of Chambogo University is Kisa Sara. Kisa Sara's study was on uh, teachers' expectations, instructional practices, and uh, P1 learners' competence in mathematics. This study comes on the backdrop of the country's continued declining performance in mathematics, which is a foundational subject for the sciences and for developing critical thinking skills. Sarah's study was based in Busiro North, Wakiso District, and Luka North, uh, Luka District. The study found out that 90% of the teachers were using pedagogical practices which did not promote learners' competence development in mathematics, hence not achieving the desired learning outcomes. The study concluded that having high expectations of learners and choosing highly interactive pedagogical practices leads to enhanced achievement of mathematics competences in P1, which is the foundational class for better achievement in mathematics in higher classes. The study has recommended a profile of competences for P1 mathematics, which is aligned 
to instructional strategies which are more likely to enhance achievement of P1 mathematics learning outcomes. And this is critical for teacher training institutions and teachers in practice. Sarah was supervised by Associate Professor Godfrey Eju and Associate Professor Joyce Aikoru Asimwe. Sarah, you can now walk, walk for your confinement. Congratulations. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of Chambogo University. Congratulations and well done. Thank you. Please publish you and the other gentlemen. Make sure you publish papers out of your thesis. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Master of Education Foundations of Chambogo University. Achuti Kenneth, Atama Blasio Alioma, Opio Patrick, Waisua Richard. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of uh, Master of Education Foundations of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Master of Counseling Psychology of Chambogo University. Tukundane Lydia, Tuikirize Jean Mili. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Counseling Psychology of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Master of Education in Early Childhood Development of Chambogo University. Ankunda Grace, Kembubi Grace, Namuyava Robina Beatrice. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Education in Early Childhood Development of Chambogo University. 
Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Master of Education in Policy Planning and Management of Chambogo University. Asima Maude, Kabanda Anthony, Kajiri Samson, Mayemba Robert, Nambuya Angela, Namwanje Elizabeth, Kole Godfrey, Nuagaba Edson, Nyende Diana, or both Joseph. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Education in, in policy planning and management of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements of the award of the postgraduate diploma in education of Chambogo University. By, by virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented uh, for the award of the postgraduate diploma in education of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the postgraduate diploma in teacher education of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of postgraduate diploma in teacher education of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduate who has satisfied the requirements for the award of the postgraduate diploma in educational lead management and leadership of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate that person whose name has been presented for the award of the postgraduate diploma in educational uh, management and leadership of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Guidance and Counseling of Chambogo University. Nakanwa Jinora, first class. Nakawesa Yvonne, first class. Akol, Adikini, Atukunda, Alifuna, Asimwe, Atukunda, Berebera, Buchirwa, Gita, Iradukunda, Kavalisa, Kato, Katai, Kainza, Chichoncho, Kwagala, Lulenzi, Makumbi, Mutesi, Muwonge, Kabatanda, Nabugasha, Nabukera Shila, Nabukera Sumaya, Nabukwasi, Najuna, Nakabuye, Nakachua, Nakajiri, Nakaye Joan, Nakaye Joan Jena, Nachitende, Nakure, Namanya, Nambogo, Namuga, Namukobe, Namusabi, Namuimbwa, Nankasa, Natukunda, Nimusima, Nuahereza, Obatiru, Obit, Ochwe, Sande, Taligola. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Guidance and Counseling of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you 
the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the degree for the confirmation of the degree of Bachelor of Development Studies of Chambogo University. Abeja, Abenitwe, Aboth, Achuku, Achuero, Adibo, Adokorach, Adumo, Adur, Afakoru, Agasha, Agea, Aguti, Ahumuza, Akelo Brenda, Akelo Winfred, Akori, Akulu, Akumu Gloria, Akumu Monica, Ali, Alija, Aline Itwe, Amade, Amanyire, Amechu, Ameso, Angei, Angeyo, Anyango, Apio Monica, Apio Susan, Ariatu Ijuka, Asimwe, Asingo, Atkwase, Atuheire, Auma, Awele, Ayebale, Aiko. Babirie Evelyn Roda, Babirie Zahara Alituvera, Bainomujisha Bala Basemere, Bazibu Bira Biryom Maisho, Bienzika Bujingo, Busoborozi, Businje, Buayo, Buire, Chebugira, Chekwemoi, Chemutai, Cheptoek, Chikamoko, Diko, Dori, Elogu, Elunga, Erumbi, Eumu, Giboni, Hashim, Hijenyi, Hire, Ijala, Ilaborot, Imalu, Isingoma, Ivolongo, Kadodo, Kakungulu, Kalunji, Kanoel, Karangwa, Kasana, Kasemire, Kasemeire, Kato, Katumba, Kayanga, Katoko, Chichoncho Mary, Chichoncho Sara, Kiza, Kimera, Chisache Innocent, Chisase, Chisache Jackie, Jackie, Chiyombo, Kobugave, Kobusinje, Komakech, Konga, Kurora, Kutia, Kwagala, Kweya, Kwizera, Chazike, Chomuhendo, Lanyero, Lubega, Lubowa, Lujuala, Luantale, Lueso, Magal, Majakira, Mary, Masokoi, Masiko, Mayoku, Mbabazi, Mirembe, Mpumwire, Mugabi, Mugoya, Muhumuza, Mukamwezi, Mukaye, Mukisa, Mukuve, Murunji, Musimenta, Musika, Musire, Musisi, Mutambi, Mutebi, Muereza, Muzale, Mwase, Nabasa, Nabakoza, Nabire Morin, Nabire Sumaya, Nabu Kenya, Nabu Eteme, Nabuire Justin, Nabuire Sharon, Nagawa, Nahuera, Naigaga, Nakabo, Nakasinde, Nakauma, Nakawesi, Nakaihi, Nachibule, Nachiria, Nachitende, Nachito, Nachiemba, Nakuya, Nalubowa, Nalumansi, Nalutaya, Namanda, Nambazira, Namboze, Nambozo, Namutosi, Namuzungu, Nafuka, Nachinga, Nantale, Nantongo, Nanyonjo, Nanziri, Nasimiyu, Nasanga, Nasuna, Natuhera, Naturinda, Natweta, Ndianabo, Ndiomugave, Ngavirano, Ngavire, Nimusima, Ntulume, Nuwagaba, Nuwaha, Nyamata, Obiru, Obonyo, Ochen, Odieny, Ogwal, Okwi, Omara, Onyang, Opolot, Osilo, Otima, Oomjisha, Owar John Viani, Owar Nobat, Saddam, Tebanyang, Tibiwabia, Tukamushaba, Tusime, Twinamasko, Owimana, Vital, Wabukawo, Waiswa, Wangolo, Waswa, Wepondi, Weajik, Wobudundu, Yeko, Sejemba, Tusime. 
By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Development Studies of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the Bachelor of Education of Chambogo University. Odagui Tony, first class. Ochen Martin, first class. Nandutu Irene Yunis, first class. Akol Agnes, first class. Orotin John Paul, first class. Elanyu Joseph, first class. Atukunda Diction, first class. Kamujisha James, first class. Aweu Moses, first class. Ariho Innocent, first class. Turiahuera Banabas, first class. Ochaya Polycap, first class. Rukundo Justus Tumusime, first class. Nakayemba Grace, first class. Ogwang Isaac, first class. Orisa Bosco, first class. Ahewa John, first class. Bidia Huaho Gilbert, first class. Adoch, Achen, Ageta, Akumu, Aliku, Ampurire, Amuge, and Rionzi, Angol, Anzo, Apio, Awidi, Awino, Ayeko, Ayeni, Ayuro, Baguma, Bandovera, Banduyo, Bazade, Bileni, Buambale, Chandia Christopher, Chandia Ronald, Debo, Ebiot, Ebong, Echoni, Eiru, Emong, Erayu, Etima, Ewalu, Isavirie, Juma, Kamujisha, Kanyesije, Katandi, Kilama, Kitandwe, Komakech, Chanda, Latigo, Likicho, Masaba, Kasanga, Masiga, Mawanda, Mwirahe, Mugume, Mukwaya, Muloli, Mwebe, Nabuma, Nakato, Nachintu, Namboze, Nampungu, Namuhoma, Ngaverano, Niwamanya, Ntireganya, Nyalwonga, Obonyo, Ochan, Ochen, Ochieng, Odongo, Oduko, Ojiambo, Ojobi, Okalany, Okino, Okwanga, Omulei, Opio, Opus, Osia, Otim, Oye, Rwashaija, Saja, Salama, Sande, Senyondo, Serwanga, Simiyu, Sebuliba, Tamukede, Tumu, Tumu, Tuhamibwe, Tumusimwe, Turiagumanawe, Tushave, Drijaru, Oguti, Enyutu. I have a bad phone which you, even if I switched it off, if there is any, any coming call, it will allow it to go through. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is all bad. So, uh, by virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Education of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for their confirmation of the degree of Bachelor of Education Order of Chambogo University. Abigaba, Abola, Adar, Akumu, Aliga, Aluma, Aluri, Asimwe, Balonde, Bazanye, Bikala, Birunji, Buga, 
Buza, Echomu, Egiru, Egonyu, Emaru, Guaita, Isabire, Isiko, Kafuku, Kaliesubura, Tibet, Kibet, Kinobe, Kisembo, Kituno, Kula, Chalimpa, Makafu, Murukuru, Nangoli, Napulu, Ntulume, Nuaha, Obong, Odokopira, Odongo, Oguang, Okelo James, Okelo Matia, Okelo Max, Okui, Olem, Oluka, Omaria, Omonyi, Opada, Opio, Otim, Samanya, Sempungu, Senkaba, Tugume, Tulimuvona, Wakata. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Education Hotel of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of teacher education of Chambogo University. Oyugi Bosco Komakech, first class. Abid Rabosande, first class. Anena Kennedy, first class. Bikanga Kenneth, first class. Opira Albert, first class. Nakanwanji Muaimini, first class. Odongo Bosco, first class. Giramia Faith, first class. Maganda Yoeri, first class. Iwama Zakari Ojara, first class. Mukama Charles, first class. Chimbugwe Alex Kayemba, first class. Muhindo Vincent, first class. Mpirirwe Jacqueline, first class. Opio John, first class. Nicodemus Epaphras, first class. Abalo Evelyn Otim, first class. Awar Mary Immaculate, first class. Oswana Brian Paul, first class. Asimwe Fiona, first class. Abihuka, Abima, Abwala, Achan, Adul, Afoyo Roth, Ainomjisha, Ajok, Akalang, Alum, Alumai, Alupo, Amandu, Amoding, Sarah, Amoding, Sikola, Amongin, Amonyi, An Angudeo, Anuar, Apio Doris, Apio Grace, Apio Olga, Apita, Ariamo, Asio, Atim, Auma, Aweko, Awio, Ayo, Bahemuka, Baluku, Bihira, Bua, Buire, Chebet, Dawa, Echingo, Ekopai, Eletu, Elong, Emiku, em, Emo, Erechu, Gubi, Habasa, Inau, Irebu, Kalembe, Kampaire, Kantayomba, Kasibe, Kasoba, Kitali, Chiza, Kwesiga, Chomukama, Chosimie, Maridio, Matila, Mpango, Mukimba, Mulabi, Nabwera, Nakabugo, Nakaira, Nakut, Nanyonga, Nkwasibwe, Nyakuni, Nyangoma, Oboi, Obot, Obura, Odeke, Odongo, Ofono, Ogugu, Ogu, Ojok, Okau, Okelo Jimmy Pope, Okelo Newton, Okelo Richard Collins, Okiror, Opolot, Ruba, Sevume, Takali, Thembo, Tiko Edna, Tiko Justin, Wadribo, Walukana, Wamalugu. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Teacher Education of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Educational Planning and Management of Chambogo University. 
by virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Diploma in Educational Planning and Management of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduand who has satisfied the requirement for the award of the Diploma in Guidance and Counseling of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all the I congratulate all that person whose name has been presented for the award of the diploma in guidance and counseling of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the diploma in education, early childhood development of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Diploma in Education, Early Childhood Development of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Early Childhood Development of Chambogo University of Soroti Learning Center. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented uh, on the award of the Diploma in Early Childhood Development of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Instructors Technical Teacher Education of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the diploma in instruction, instructors, technical teacher education of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir. I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Education Primary External of Chambogo University from the following DEPE centers. Chibuli PTC, Jinja PTC, Canon Lawrence PTC, Boroboro, Kabwangasi PTC, Bikira PTC, Rakai, Busubizi PTC, St. George's PTC Ibanda, Christ the King Gulu PTC, St. Aloysius PTC Ngora, St. John Bosco PTC Lodonga. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congr congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Diploma in Education Primary of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Special Needs Education External of Chambogo University from the following Disney centers. Kamura CPTC, Loro Koa PTC, St. Mary's PTC Bukedea, Sancta Maria PTC Nkokonjero, Chiora PTC, Bikira PTC Rakai. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all, all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the diploma in special needs education of Chambogo University. 
Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the certificate in early childhood development of Chambogo oh. University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the certificate in early childhood development of Chambogo University. Thank you. Mr. Sanchez, sir, allow me to remove my face mask. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduate who has satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Food Technology of Chambogo University. <laughs> Musarima Hato Juliet studied the chemical composition of oil from raw and heated traditional improved ground nuts and oyster nuts. Her research demonstrated that there is no substantial difference in levels of the fatty acids oleic and in oleic acid between traditional and improved varieties. Among the varieties studied, selenate 6, 7, and 13, rund red, rund white, and achor white are rich in alpha trochophero and retino. These are protective against oxidative stress, a risk factor for generative diseases. Oyster nut oil had balanced levels of saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. Also, it was found out that stewing exhibited better preservation of linoleic acid, which is a cardio protective. For maximum retention of fatty acids, ground nuts and oyster nuts should be branched at 85 degrees Celsius for five minutes prior to cooking. The balanced levels of fatty acids in oyster nut merits further research in vitro. This information can be used popularized and conserve ground nuts varieties, especially Achori White, Rundu Red, Rundu White, Sena 6, 7, and 13, due to the health promoting attributes of the oils. This study was provided by Professor Ogok Patrick and Associate Professor Mugamposa Delisa from the Department of Food Processing Technology and was funded by Chambogo University in conjunction with African Development Bank under Haste 5 project. Congratulations, Juliet, and the Department of Food Processing Technology. <laughs> By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of in Food Technology of Chabogo 
University. Congratulations. Working in this place, I worship you. For a photograph. I worship you. You are here, moving in a niche. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you, I worship you. Hey, we make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Master of Science in Chemistry of Chambogo University. Semwanga Habat Watum Jimmy. By virtue of the authority trusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Science in Chemistry of Chambokoi University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confinement of the degree of Master of Science in Food Technology of Chambogo University. Abo Imagret, Ainebiona Dennis, Atwera Agnes Judith, Chisenyi Wilson Wire, uh, Mugera Frederick, Nauma Justin Nanchanora. By virtue of the authority trusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Science in the Food Technology of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confinement of the degree of Master of Science in Sports Science of Chambogo University. Mugera John, Mayanja Ronald, Nawaragara Irvania, Opio Washington. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Science in Sports sport Science of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Master of Science in Conservation and Natural Resource Management of Chambogo University. Achisimire Hindra, Ashaba Heren, Chiwewa Bernard, Nduga Peter, and Opio Stephen. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Science uh, in uh, Conservation and Natural Resources uh, Management of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Master of Science in Physics of Chambogo University. Obarim Terence and Okero Sam. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Science in Physics of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of postgraduate diploma in food safety management of Chambogo University.
by virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate the, uh, the, 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 all those persons whose names have been read, presented for the award of the postgraduate diploma in food safety management of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of postgraduate diploma in sports management of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the postgraduate diploma in sports management of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering of Chambogo University. Chibirike John, first class, Arganina Moses, first class, Andima Francis, first class, Naluburwa Sherina, first class. Ako, Adengo, Adong, Adukure, Agaba, Amwine, Aguzu, Anyango, Anyine, Arinda, Asamo, Asibazu, Bakwata, Bamchae, Batenda, Kosi, Buryaba, Yamukama, Edechu, Espan, Islet, Kabageni, Kagombe, Kahurwa, Kakande, Kambe, Kasovia, Katatanzi, Kato, Katunda, Katsabe, Kedi, Chigundu, Chintu, Chirabo, Ugonza, Umbuga, Kwizera, Chasi Mire, Lukowe, Lutabi, Rionde, Mangeni, Fitumdinda, Mugeni, Muhumuza, Mukasa, Muchibi, Mukuba, Mulisa, Munaba, Murunji, Naba Sirie, Nabukera, Nakakande, Nakamate, Nakanwaji, Nakayenze, Nachiwoga, Narugemwa, Narumaga, Namanda, Nambariwa, Namtevi, Namuavira, Nandara, Nanseko, Nantege, Nanyondo, Nyangoma, Nyesigamkama, Odongo, Okero, Omondi, Opule, Othieno, Otim, Pakot, Semuju, Sentongo, Seba, Seba Anda, Semanove, Senyonga, Tembo, Kamushaba, Turinawe, Tuesje, Tuizuche, Wafura, Wanda, Wanyama Juma, Wanyana, Wosukira, and Yore. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Bachelor of Science with Education of Chambogo University. Makoa Lawrence, first class. Neja Pison, first class. Chiwanuka Mavias, first class. Nkaja Abbas, first class. Mare Emmanuel, first class. Nirim Bibi, first class. Birakwate Elliot, first class. Kakembo Nicholas, first class. Namata Brigade, first class. Ashaba Coins, first class. Mbabazi Morris, First class. Achat, Acha, Achiroi, Agaba, Agadi, Agumeho, Ahewa, Ainibiona, Ainumcha, Akero, Okot, Alani, Arinaitwe, Anyajo, Apo, Ariko, Arinaitwe, 
alinda, asimwe, ategeka, atheirwe, atuizuchire, atuonjire, baguma, bahan, ngondi, bajulizi, barikowa, baruku, lukuruwa muhanji, buwa, buyinza, yawa gambi, yaruhanga, chebet, cherop, ibionyu, ejang, elot, iruanu, eyok, hamya, imechu, isimwa, isina, jaromo, kabugo, kabwemi, kawa, karamaji, kariango, kanabi, karugaba, karuhanga, kategeke, kaza laruga, chivirige, chivukuna, chigozi, chichiza, chinove, chiprimo, chilia, chisakche, chityo, chiinji, chizubo, komangum, korjendo, kure, chaze, cheyune, rubega, rubowa, lake, Lukambuzi, luku, lu, lukunyang, liombia, magomu, masiko, mirembe, mpima, mpora, mugangu, mugamvu, muhindo, muwezi, mulende, mulumba, musisi, mutebi, mutonyi, mutumba, Muyanga, Muyingo, Naba Anji, Naba Sumba, Naba Kenya Fiona, Naba Kenya Rose, Nagaba, Nahabwe, Nakai, Nakageni, Nakarema, Nakate, Nakavuma, Nakawesi, Nachitandwe, Nachambade, Nalenya, Narubega, Narunkuma, Namata, Namirimu, Namugerwa, Namurondo, Nasuna, Ngaverano, Nuaha, Nuareva, Nkaja, Nchizi, Nsimenta, Ntege, Nyamezi, Nyende, Obong, Ochan, Ochen, Odoch, Odong, Ogwar, Okoch, Okodo, Orimi, Oruen, Onyango Ivan, Onyango John, Owuni, Owomuhanji, Oyo, Wanjoga, Sabiti, Seguya, Seku, Sokoria, Sali, Sebufu, Sekatawa, Semakura, Sempija, Tamare, Taremwa, Tenywa, Tiberindwa, Tibuita, Tumusime, Tumujuche, Tulinawe, tusemerewe, tuesije, tuinamasko, uizeye, wamara, wamboyo, wamoto, wanyama, wa anduwanzara. By virtue of the authority and trusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been raised the degree of Bachelor of Science with Education of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Food Processing Technology of Chambogo University. Gabo Lucas, first class. Lachakala Alan Sadich, first class. Akaso Evelyn, first class. Tulinawe Ibrahim, first class. Sebuko Maiko, first class. Achele. Ankunda, Asimwile, Binomgisha, Dengel, Chiwunda, Lelu, Maselka, Mpango, 
Musasizi, mushabe. Musoke, mutesi. Nalvega, okumu. Seluaji, tolach. Tumwesije, and tuliagalukayo Brian. By fact, you have the authority entrusted to me. I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Science in Food Processing Technology of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present you the graduates who have certified the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Science Technology, Biology, of Chambogo University. Jemba Nicholas, first class. Nasal Imelda Claire, first class. Nakubulwa Shakila, first class. Akwech, Atkunda. Auma, Aevali. Adema, Kamia, Kandole. Kebirunji, Chambade. Luanga, Mubugumia, Muhwez, Mungweri, Mutua. Namuswe, Namutel. Nasazi, Natukundia. Aforos, Ojambo, Sebuliba. Tebali Tegekiri, Wanzala, and Zidema Abdu. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Science. Uh, of science, Technology, Biology of Chambago University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present you the graduates who have certified the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Science, Technology, Chemistry of Chambago University. Nalukuba Ibrahim, first class. Kaziwe Michael, first class. ISJ, Baleche, Balongo, Binomjisha, Birunji, Butonga, Chweke, Kabugo, Kagoya, Chirunda, Chisache, Chiyai, Masakala, Mbabaz, Muhumuza, Nabu Kenya, Naizuli, Nachambadi, Naruoga, Namalome, Namaweji, Nasasira, Natumanya, Msadu, Ntuyo, Odokenyolo, Okidol, Semakula, Sebutinde, Suvi Tashovia, Wafule, Wabaine, and Wamini Jelad Wafula. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Science, Te Technology, Chemistry of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present you the graduates who have certified the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Science Technology Physics of Chambogo University. <coughs> Tumsime Alex, first class. Abongos, Akampulida, Buyola, Isiabiye, Kabula, Kabuye, Halono, Chibedi, Nakazi, Nambuere, Ojok, Okulo, Onian, Semakula, and Yahweh Godfrey. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names, whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Science Technology Physics of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present you the graduates who have certified the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Information Technology and Computing of Chambogo University. Nabasinga Jewan Mirembe, first class. Musinguzi Nicholas, first class. Nabala Aileen, first class. Namika Leticia, first class. Ampele Ediga, first class. Chimba Wayasin, first class. Chivazo Jonathan, first class. Kom Gisha Jen Laws, first class. Taiwa Nicholas Ijo, first class. Alinda Malion, first class. Ojok Ivan, first class. Abaho, Agaba Henry, 
agaba Isaac, akankwasa amodoi amutos, anena Beatrice, aneno Esther. Alikod, halinitwe, arop, bakijukile, wire, ebu, galia, geno, gelo, hafasa, ivanda, ilakoze, kakwangile, kalumba, kayanga, chisa, chisila, chiyaga, chiyimba, kojo, kusima, kwemoi, kushama, lanyel, lubega, luanga, mahoha, mpamurunji, Mubuke, mugaba, muhindo, muhumuza, mukisa, mulembe, musime, muwanga, mwesige, nabada, naigede, nakisige, na kumanyanga, na maganda, na maweje, na bumba, na nsubuga, na ntume, na sasira, na solo, na ziwa, ochen, okelo, okolong, ouma, se mugabi, se nkila, se virumbi, se chanzi, se ngoba, Sen samba, tayewa, tuikirize, walusimbi, and wekalao Isaac. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Information Technology of Cham and Computing of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present you the graduates who have certified the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Information Systems of Chambogo University. Mundul Joanna, first class. Hasaya Bryan, first class. Chiwika Emmanuel, first class. Tumulamie Adela, first class. Mwesije Titus, first class. Ainemba Baziprosi. Aliko, Alinitwe. Atuhaire, Biamukama, Biarugaba, Hakiza, Kakembo, Kasuja, Kasule, Chigozi, Chiwanuka, Chamba, De, Male, Mbabazi, Mugasha, Mugisha, Mohewa, Musenero, Musime, Mworu, Nalukenge, Nsubuga, Ogwang, Oto, Segawa, Sechanzi, Tugume, Tuhirire, and Tusime Laki. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Information Systems of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present you the graduates who have certified the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Sports and Leisure Management of Chambogo University. Namanya Stephen, Oluka Joseph, Tuliachira Godfrey, and Waswa Najib Sekatawa. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Science in Sports and Leisure Management of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present you the graduates who certified the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Environmental Science, Technology, and Management of Chambogo University. Tumwene Dawudi, first class. Musiwa Joel, first class. Navasa Edgar, first class. Tuluhuche Mary, first class. Namuganga Lillian Rebecca, first class. Tuinama Skomatias first class. Achola, Adoch, Ahimsiwe, Akampulida, Alinitwe, Alinda, Ampumuza, Alaika, Balikowa, Drasiku, Drazul, Gasi, Gabi, Kanyesje, Kato, Kembabaz, Chiravo, Kokole, Luja, Nabulo, Nakakawa, Nakalunji, Nakamuka, Niwemuwezi, Nsanja, Ogwang, Okitoi, O team, o team Joyce, O team Richard, O WCJ, Tenua, Tumusave, and Tulia Singra Alex. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read 
the degree of Bachelor of Environmental Science, Technology, and Management of Chambogo University. Chancellor Sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Textile and Clothing Technology of Chambogo University. Nasasra Victor, first class. Bonipa Innocent, first class. Akandwa Naho, Amumpa, Mugume, Mureche, Nachesa, Nayevare, Ojirong, and Semanda. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Science in the Textile and the Clothing Technology of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Bachelor of Oil and Gas Production of Chambogo University. Neijuka Flore, Najuka Florence, first class. Dida Emmanuel, first class. Ahebwa Akampurira Ankunda Areneitwe, Kakire Arajab, Kakire Nixon. Chivu Chikuvire, Chikuvire, Chirunda, Chiemba, Rukomera, Rukwago, Masika, Masete, Mugambe, Mwesigwa, Namba, Natkwasa, and Ochan. In my virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Oil and Gas Production of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Statistics of Chambogo University. Tumsinjize Jonas, first class, Ahirwe Isaac, first class, Akampurira, Ariho Asimwe, Ayesiga, Bakazi Bazira, Barayo, Baridawa, Bijoto, Kabagweri, Kabajungu, Kabatoga, Kako, Chintu, Maringa, Mukwata, Mulenzi, Muruhuche, Musungu, Mutanda, Mutenyo, Mwesigwa, Nakamia, Namasembe, Namboga, Nanjeru, Ndianabo, Nkuna, Ojan, Onzima, Oyuku, Pido, Se Segwanyi, Se Kaiba, Semakura, Taremwa, Tasumba, Tavawaka, Tsime, Tuinomgisa, Wamahoro, and Wizie. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Science in Statistics of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Leather Turning Technology of Chambogo University. Oye Okero Joshua, first class. Chomuhanj Akijaje. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, 
I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Science in Leather Turning Technology of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Sports Management of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate uh, all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Diploma in Sports Management of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Computer Science of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons who are, whose names have been read, eh, presented for the award of the Diploma in Computer Science of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Food Processing Technology of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Diploma in Food Processing Technology of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Science, Technology, Biology of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I con congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Diploma in Science, Technology, Biology of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Science, Technology, Chemistry of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award, award of the Diploma in Science, Technology, Chemistry of Chamboko University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Science, Technology, <coughs> Physics of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Diploma in Science, Technology and Physics of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Certificate in Food Processing Technology of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Certificate in the Food Processing Technology of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Certificate in Science Laboratory Technology of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Certificate in Science Laboratory Technology of Chambogo University. Thank you.
Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Master of Science in Structural Engineering of Chambogo University. Achidri Samuel, Batsaja, Batsaja Nsolo Patrick Kabito, Karubanga Adolf Owino Stephen. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Science in Structural Engineering of Chambog University. No collapsing buildings, please. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Master of Science in Advanced Manufacturing Systems Engineering of Chambogo University. Boenje Innocent, Ongom Christopher Adoko, Mafabi Peter. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Science in Advanced Manufacturing Systems Engineering of Chamboko University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Master of Science in Water and Sanitation Engineering of Chamboko University. Achayo Grace, Amolo Caroline Judith, Asimwe Arnold, Mafabi Martins, Nyesigire Resti. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Science in Water and Sanitation Engineering of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Master of Science in Construction Technology and Management of Chambogo University. Asingwire Myers, Atukwasa Agre, Baguma Andrew, Binji Francis, Elong Samuel, Eonya Julius, Isoba John, Kamwaka Naomi, Mugabe Ronald, Nabala Moses, Namara Barbara, Natkunda Nathan, Seninde Stephen, Tuinama Siko Diklas. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Science in Construction Technology and Management of Chambogo University. Again, please, no more collapsing buildings. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Telecommunication Engineering of Chambogo University. Kivumbi Ronald, first class. Mayanja Deo, first class, Wandera Anal, uh, Alan Mark, first class, Abaho, Abananye, uh, Ahabwe, Ahimbisibwe, Ainembabazi, Ainomugisha, Akabwai, Alinda, Alum, Aluong, Arinaitwe, Edgar Arinaitwe, Nelly, Asasira Innocent, Atuhangaine, Atuine, Basima, Borekire, Chekaptui, Etiang, Galabuzi, Gumisiriza, Isa, Isa Abirie, Isaya, Jawori, Jumba, 
Kabashambo, Kabi, Kaliemenya, Katana, Kato, Katuga, Kemigisha, Keno, Kijo, Kisalu, Kuoba, Lugwire, Lule, Madi, Mande, Matovu, Mugalu, Mugenyi, Mukasa, Muku, Mukuye, Musime, Muyambi, Nabuchalo, Nabuloli, Nakabiri, Nakagiri, Nakaja, Nachibuka, Nakintu, Nalera, Naluasa, Nasilu, Ndiowe, Namala, Nsadu, Nsubuga, Ochimil, Odede, Ogola, Okelo, Okecho, Okiria, Okuny, Oriem, Rubangakene, Shalita, Tumwebaze, Tumwesije, Tusubira, Waswa, Wauyo. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in a Telecommunication Engineering of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Electrical Engineering of Chambogo University. Waswa Joseph Mark, first class, Buyungo Henry, first class, Sebagala Titus, first class, Jumba Joseph, first class, Kigundu Jimmy, first class, Kayemba Henry, first class, Abaine, Ainomu Huezi, Akanga, Akiki, Aliganira, Alioni, Asasira, Asimwe, Atusimire, Bagonza, Balimungulira, Busulwa, Gita, Kafuluma, Kakembo, Kalema, Kanyerezi, Kasirie, Kato, Katwe, Kavuma, Kawesa, Kibuka, Kigundu, Kimboa, Kirabo, Kisera, Kisembo, Kiwanuka, Kwamusi, Cheyune, Lubanga, Lubega, Lukungu, Lutwama, Makumbi, Mivule, Mugweri, Mukambia, Mukasa, Mukwana, Muramuzi, Musabe, Musime, Mutesa, Siza, Muonge, Muebe, Mwesigwa, Nabasa, Nahabwe, Naigembe, Nakito, Nalubira, Namanya, Namuga, Nansubuga, Ndaula, Niwamanya, Nkoyoyo, Nuwajuna, Nyongesa, Ochuli, Odongo, Oguta, Okiria, Okitui, Okori, Oligo, Omoding, Opio, Orukan, Rubizi, Sanya, Senjobe, Sida, Sechibembe, Semakula, Seninde, Sentongo, Setumba, Swaga, Taremwa, Tamarwe, Tumwebaze, Anxious, Tumwebaze, God, Turiagumanawe, Twesije, Wakolesha, Waliaula, Waswa, Cosmas Bukenya, and Waswa, Joel. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Electrical Engineering of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Civil and Building Engineering of Chambogo University. Mashale Sowedi, first class. Abiriamazo Charity, first class. Lumenya Abdul Karim, first class. Ochiti Jeff Odur, first class. Komakech Richard Caesar, first class. Odiek Edwin Seven, first class. Ahurira Solomon, first class. Kakusu Nasa, first class, Arinda Daisy, first class, Akobo Josephine, 
first class, Suna Asharaf, first class, Ukefi Kennedy, first class, Nalutaya Edgar, first class. Abigaba, Acham, Agaba, Ahimbisibwe, Ahurira, Ainamani, Ainomugisha Bright, Ainomugisha Dorin, Akena, Aleku, Amanio, Amanya, Amutu Haire, Andama, Anena, Aneno, Arineitwe, Asimwe Alex, Asimwe Edwin, Asimwe Timothy, Asiku Fred, Atejeka, Rodney, Atuhaire, Federi, Atuhaire Willy, Atuhuerire, Awori, Ayeba Zibwe, Bali Kudembe, Basirika, Bagumirwe, Bagim, Bagumirwa, Buteme, Biamukama, Eibu, Emetai, Himbisa, Ihunde, Inima, Irumba, Isingoma, Julius, Isingoma, Richard, Kagoya, Kakaire, Kakenga, Kasozi, Katongole, Kawoya, Kayuba, Kigundu, Kigonya, Kiguli, Kinyera, Kirega, Kiza, Chaze, Lalobo, Lapiem, Latigo, Laula, Love, Lutimba, Mavirizi, Maiku, Maliki, Matovu, Mayega, Mayeku, Mbuga, Peirwe, Mugabe, Harun, Mugabe, Victor, Muganga, Nicholas, Mugara, Mugisha, Mugoya, Mukibi, Mukono, Musera, Musime, Musinguzi, Mutesi, Muthethu, Muzani, Mwambu, Mwesigwa, Mwonda, Nabimanya, Namubiru, Namuli, Namuiga, Nandiowa, Nankabirwa, Nankumba, Nankunda, Nasikombi, Ngabirano, Nkongi, Nshuti, Nuwamanya, Obonyo, Ochaya, Ochom, Odoch, Odur, Ogali, Ogik, Okelo Denish, Okelo Lee, Okelo Simon, Okune, Okwiri, Omara, Ongom, Onzima, Opio Joseph, Opio William, Opua, Osbat, Otede, Owera, Owin, Pade, Risa, Rubangakene, Sagal, Sebagala, Sembatia, Sali, Sebagala, Senku, Senkubuge, Sewankambo, Sewanyana, Thomas, Tibenkana, Tuhabwe, Tumusime Benson, Tumusime Bonita, Tumuijuche, Tumuine, Tuesije, Tuinamasiko, Tuinam, Tuinomujuni, Wabi, Walugembe, and Yiga. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of engineering in a civil and building and building engineering of Chambogo University. I hesitated a bit because of the problem we have with our buildings. <laughs> so. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the confirmation of the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering of Chambogo University. Ekulu Deogracious, first class. Agaba, Aguma, Ainebiona, Aloti, Amanya, Amar, Ampaire, Amuku, Ariganyira, Arinda, Asimire, Asimwe, Atugonza, Atuhamie, Atuijukire, Arnold, Atuijukire, Bruce, Ayesiga, 
babalanda bagampange bagonza bahiga bainomugisha baraka besije bira birunji bisaso bogere bomukama buga, bugabwa bukenya bwambale landus bwambale semu byamugisha byaruhanga biona nevye dembe dwaru edyangu egau etwoku gumisiriza jagenda ira irot isingoma kafero kalule kasule kato kiberu kibuka kiza kihembo martin kiza stanley kimera kiyaka kukunda kulubya kuikiriza agnes kuikiriza innocent chabanji chomuhendo lubwama lutakome luemba luima luimbazi mabuye makune maniraguha mase, masereka mayambala mayanja mirembe derick mirembe esther mpuga muganzi muhereza muhindo joel muhindo ronald muhumuza mukama mukibi mukonyenzi mukusaya mulondo muyanja muzahura muima na bifo na buma na gawa na chibinge na ngaka na sasira na saka ngabirano seviyumva saviyumva nuamara nyamuchwingani ochen ochen odong ojie okelo okeng okiror isaac okiror martin okot okumu omunet ongom otile ruhanga rukundo samanya senyonyi sishe sali sekamate sechide sempija sentamu serebe setimba swaibu takima fembo tusike tuhumure tumusime tumwesige tundulu tumwesije tusime tusingwire wako walukaga wamala wandera wanzala wavamuno womai yiga zemai I virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in the Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Architecture of Chambogo University. As Ashaba Aturinde Biwaga Cherotich Kaube Mataka Mulema Muzora Mwesije Nuagaba Nuaha Obol Okot Sechizivu Turiahabwe Walakira Wokorach. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Architecture of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Building Economics of Chambogo University. Ndelema Gloria, first class. Tuine Mukama, Joseph, first class. Abe, Ageta, Ainomugisha, Akatuijuka, Aliwebwa, Ankunda, Arinda, Asato, Atigo, 
Bienzi, Chebet, e, Elabe, Epoku, Gimono, Guma, Idiro, Kabeho, Kagoda, Kajumba, Kalumba, Kanolo, Kawalia, Kichoncho, Kisache, Kivumbi, Lutaya, Magoba, Makibwe, Masereka, Matovu, Mugenyi, Mugoda, Nabulime, Nabushunu, Naibira, Nakabuye, Nakaliango, Nakato, Nakito, Nambajwe, Namirembe, Nankole, Nansambu, Nasozi, Natukunda, Nuwabasa, Obalim, Odongo, Okelo, Okoth, Othieno, Otim, Oyela, Sekade, Sekonde, Tekiba, Tumuijuche, Umoja, Wadribo, Waswa, Wandera, Waswa, Watibin. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the decree of Bachelor of Science in the Building Economics of Chambuko University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Surveying and Land Information Systems of Chambogo University. Achola Loi, Achiro Ademun, Ainobu Sinje, Akatukunda, Akelo, Amanire, Ampumuza, Andruale, Apedo, Asasira, Asimwe, Ategeka, Ayot, Bainomugisha, Banyanga, Basima, Bira, Brenda, Businje, Buire, Egunyu, Ekoju, Emiru, Etiem, Eyotre, Gatre, Gumisa, Ithungu, Kajiri, Kakaire, Kamulindwa, Kansime, Kanyike, Kasirie, Katumba, Kayongo, Kiza, Kirabira, Lubanga, Magala, Mayanja, Mayega, Mirembe, Muganga, Munaba, Mungudit, Mutabazi, Mujuche, Nabudo, Nabudere, Nabiai, Nagawa, Nalunkuma, Namata, Namirembe, Namuyanga, Nasasira, Naturinda, Ndagire, Tracy, Amelia. Mr. Chancellor, I would like to pause and say that this graduand, number 60 on my book, Ndagire, Tracy, Amelia, is graduating posthumously. Uh -oh. She passed on on Monday, the 20th of September, 2021 and was buried yesterday. Oh. May her soul rest in peace. Oh, sorry. I can continue now. Ngweno, Nionsaba, Nsubuga, Nuagaba, Nyakahuma, Nyameri, Nyangoma, Odiet, Odongpin, Okiror, Okunu, Onyera, Oundo, Seruanga, Segai, Sekasala, Semfuka, Sesanga, Tuine. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Science in the Surveying and Land Information Systems of Chambogo University, also posthumously, the one who has passed on, 
Very sad indeed. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Land Economics of Chambogo University. Kato Mayanja, first class. Arinda Muine Maklin, first class. Abenaitwe Aikirize Alok Amanya Amia Amulen Anwar Ashaba Ashemeza Atim Atukwatse Auma Bagole Buire Biaruhanga Chekwemoi Egesa Fathum Gizaza Ikiriza Kagoda Kakuba Kamashara Kasozi Kibenge Kisadaki, Kithula, Kisa, Kusasira, Kusemerera, Malinga, Mbabazi, Mubiru, Mude, Mugasha, Muhirwa, Muhizi, Muhumuza, Mukasa, Murunji, Mutatina, Mwesje, Mwes Nabosa, Nabuyondo, Nabuire, Nahamia, Nakalembe, Nakato, Nakintu, Namatovu, Namazi, Namutebi, Namfuka, Nankabirwa, Nanyunja, Nasirumbi, Naturinda, Ndagire, Neromi, Kenuye, Kurununji, Nyaruhuma, Nira Mugisha, Obaita, Ojangole, Okudi, Olule, Otim, Serwada, Sande, Taremwa, Tumwine, Turiahabwe, Turiasingura, Tuakire, and Waswa. Waiswa. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Science in Land Economics of Chambuco University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Vocational Studies in Technological Studies with Education of Chambogo University. Akileng Apunyo Atuyambe, Beijuka, Bulega, Kabugo, Kafumbe, Kawesi, Kiza, Kutesa, Muonge, Simire Mukama, Nuenye Siga, Tege, Nyetege, Jerize, Onyango, Ruva. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Vocational Studies in Technological Studies with Education of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering and Management of Chambogo University. Jemba Mark, first class. Birunji Ismail, first class. Aleku, Alaku Bashabe Bayo, Beinomugisha, Birunji Bukenya, Dungala, Gibedia, Iga, Iragaba, Kalule, Kanari, Kasekende, Kato, Kemigisha, Kirinya, Kirunda, Kulundu, Mugabo, Mugwisa, Mukondwa, Muingo, Nabukenya, Naduli, Najuma, Nakato, Natukunda, Nyeko, 
Zirambi, Ochema, Okelo, Otima, Owomu Hanji, Sengendo, Senteza, Sempija, Tukamwesiga, Tuesije, Tuinomu Hanji, Aniyia. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering and Management of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Industrial Engineering and Management of Chambogo University. Kagombe Kevin, first class. Biamugisha Lawrence, first class. Nansubuga Shakika, first class. Mukasa Mike Isaac, first class. Aijuka Ainebiona, Ajiko Asimwe, Atuhaire, Aura, Ayebale, Bikondo, Biamugisha, Biaruhanga, Dumba, Efumbi, Epet, Fambi, Habialimana, Kai, Kabanda, Kadu, Kaijuka, Kasule, Katusabe, Keba, Kintu, Kinyera, Kirabo, Kolia, Lule, Lualaga, Mangeni, Masereka, Masiko, Mbambu, Menya, Mubiru, Mugabula, Muhindo, Mujuni, Mukibi, Mukwano, Musanje, Mutiaba, Navale, Nabu Kenya, Nalubega, Ninsima, Obina, Obore, Ojuka, Opeli, Rabugaha, Rabugahia, Sembatia, Setumba, Semogerere, Sengoba, Setumba, Trarubo, Tuhumuire, Walwasa, Wambi, and Womugisa. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Industrial Engineering and Management of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Automotive and Power Engineering of Chambogo University. Kasule Gerald, first class. Kokode Myers, Herod, first class. Adebua Agumenaitwe, Aijuka Akankwatsa, Hilary Akankwatsa, Robert, Amanya, Amoru, Aretor, Asimwe, Atuine, Ayesiga, Aiko, Baguma Julius, Baguma Pison, Bareche, Bashaija, Bale, Bukenya, Buire, Biamukama, Brasiku, Ekwasu, Emaju, Engwau, Itaza, Kagava, Kajebe, Kamukama, Kamusime, Kasuja, Kasule, Kato, Katongole, Kaiwa, Kemisi, Kigeni, Kinalwa, Kisalita, Kiaga, Komaket, Shobe, Luganzi, Lutaya, Haman Joseph, Lutaya, Yosia Nelson, Magezi, Magola, Mayeku, Mande, Mpuga, Mugabi, Mukalazi, Mulondo, Musasizi, Musoke, Mutasa, Mutatina, Mutoro, Mwesigwa, Nahabwe, Nachibuka, Nachiriowa, Namakajo, Namanyi, Namuyomba, Nangosha, Ntende, Oboi, Ochan, Ogwang, Odele, Olupot, Omara, Otai, Otim, Oyang, 
Sebugwao, Sechibengo, Semakula, Sena, Senabulia, Senoga, Seguya, Senyonga, Seremba, Sonko, Subil, Tubuguisha, Tumuhimbise, Tumuetabe, Wakate, Walusimbi, Walusoma, Were, and Yiga. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon all those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Automotive and Power Engineering of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the higher diploma in Mechanical Engineering of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been re represented for the award of the higher diploma in Mechanical e Engineering of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the higher diploma in electrical engineering of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the higher diploma in electrical engineering of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the higher diploma in civil and building engineering of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the higher diploma in civil and building engineering of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the diploma in education secondary technological studies of Chambogo University. I thank you of the authority entrusted to me. I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the diploma in education secondary of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the diploma in biomedical engineering of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the diploma in biomedical engineering of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Architecture of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Diploma in Architecture of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the diploma in civil and building engineering, Kabale of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the diploma in the civil and building engineering of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, 
I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Civil and Building Engineering of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Diploma in Civil and Building Engineering of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Electrical Engineering of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Diploma in ele Electrical Engineering of Chamboko University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Water Engineering of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Diploma in Water Engineering of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Mechanical Engineering of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congrat congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Diploma in Mechanical Engineering of Chamboko University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Computer Engineering of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Diploma in Computer Engineering of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Telecommunications Engineering of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Diploma in Telecommunication Engineering of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Automobile Engineering of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Diploma in Automobile Engineering of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the graduates who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Diploma in Refrigeration and Air Conditioning of Chambogo University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those persons whose names have been presented for the award of the Diploma in Refrigeration and Air Conditioning of Chambogo University. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Chancellor, sir. Uh, I would like to request us to stand up.
Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and ma Master of Ceremonies, uh, allow me to remain seated because of the, I think uh, I've sat for too long. When I've been around for too long, I'm beginning to experience a little bit of one ease in the feet. So let me con stay for the rest of the uh, of the set of, of the items left. Thank you. And Mr. Chancellor, to request you to dissolve the third session of the 17th Congregation of Chambago University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I dissolve the third session of the 17th Congregation of Chambogo University. Uh, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, as we mark the end of the 17th graduation ceremony of Chambogo University, we thank you, Allah, for having enabled us go through the entire arrangement. We thank you for the time. We thank you for the good weather. We ask you in our journey, righteousness and piety and of work that you are pleased with. Make our journey easy for us and shower unto us your mercies. We seek refuge in you from the hardship of travel. Be our companion as we travel back to our families. Replace any hardship with ease. Give us good on earth and good in the, here, in the hereafter, and prevent your anger from us. Amen. Remain standing for the anthems. Yeah. 
Yeshe kuhishi kwa amani Tutimize na malengo yetu Jumulia yetu sote tuilinde Tuajibike, tuimarike Umoja wetu ni nguzo yetu Itu mjumulia yetu Everything good must come to an end. We have come to the end of the third session of the 17th Congregation of Chambogo University. So the Chancellor's procession will now leave the graduation ground. Congratulations to everyone and we wish you well. Thank our Chancellor for being so strong and performing his statutory duties. Professor John Sebuf, thank you so much. And the Vice Chancellor, the Chairperson Council, and the Vice and other members of Council, we congratulate you. Congratulate Academic Register and the team. The deans and heads of departments, congratulations. Congratulate our PhD students. Master students, bachelors, diplomas, congratulations, congratulations. Thank you to everyone, our service providers. You have done it. You have done it, our security personnel, Uganda Police Force. Thank you so much. Thank you, and thank you indeed.
Chambogo University is a unique university with a niche in engineering, vocational education, teacher education and special needs education. Since its inception in 2003, the university has continued to produce industrious engineers, teachers and experts in special needs and vocational skills who have contributed to national development. I came to Chambogo in 2014 and that was at the time when the university was in turmoil, really. I found the university had an elaborate strategic plan and that has been our guiding document for all we are doing in the university, the strategic plan. The strategic plan has five focus areas and our achievements and focus has been uh, along those five focus areas. The first one was teaching and learning. Uh, to become a university that focuses on quality teaching, quality learning, produce quality graduates. In that area, we have reviewed, reviewed all our academic programs and we introduced the new programs which are demand driven, focusing mainly on those programs which would give students skills and be able to create some jobs for themselves. So we have introduced a number of new programs. We introduced new master's programs in order to increase our research output. We also introduced for the first time doctorate programs, PhDs. So this university now runs a number of PhD programs, I think they're about five or six, and we're developing new ones. This has been made possible because many of our people have now returned from staff development where they did their PhDs. And I'm encouraging many of these people who come back with their PhDs to use their knowledge to promote research, to promote graduate programs, masters and doctorates. Chambogo University has the mandate to credit, supervise, develop the curriculum and assess the teachers at four levels, namely early childhood, primary, secondary and tertiary teacher training. This makes Chambogo a leading university in education in Uganda. Because our programs are attractive, this has given us a big push in the number of students wanting to come to Chambogo. As I speak now, we have a student population of 33,000 students on campus. This is the largest population of students this university has ever registered. And of course that comes with a tremendous expectations on part of management to be able to deliver to the services to these students. The university has a well-established governing council, senate and other structures that ensure high quality of output and service delivery taking into account integrity, equity and professionalism in all dealings and execution of the university's mandate. Another area we have focused on is research and knowledge generation, innovations. You may remember that this university was formed by merging three institutions, ITEC or Institute for Teacher Education in Chambogo, Uganda Polytechnic and Uganda National Institute for Special Needs Education. In those institutions, research was not critical. It was not important because the ITEC was producing teachers. Polytechnic was producing technicians for the industry and scientists for labs. UNICE was producing tools for use by people with uh, special needs in education. So when it became a university, we are supposed to produce knowledge, contribute to knowledge generation through research at master's levels and doctorate levels, and also through research conducted by members of staff already in employment. We have tried to recruit many people into positions so that teaching and learning can continue. However, we are still understaffed, and that is still a big challenge which we are grappling with. The university aims at equipping each student with relevant knowledge and hands-on skills required for enterprises and to excel in the world of work. The university provides a serene learning and working environment at campus with experienced and dedicated staff. So we have we introduced a competitive research scheme and we worked with our council and put in some money, close to two billion, for members of staff to compete, write proposals, 
compete and then they get research money so that they can be able to publish and they grow in their careers so that they can publish and what they write as contribution to knowledge can be attributed to Chambogo and improve its ranking. And we have gone through the first round where we have awarded research grants to about 22 members of staff, spending about 400 million. And there are now new applications coming in and we will grant more money to more people. So we can see our research output is increasing and we also support members of staff to attend international conferences. If you have a research paper and you want to go and present it, we support you, you go and present the paper. In addition, we have an ambitious staff development program where we support members of staff to go for masters and PhDs in universities in the region and also in Europe. contributed to the peace and the tranquility that we see here. Because many, when we don't have inst policies in institutions, governance becomes a problem. So we have worked on the human resource policies, we have worked on uh, issues to do with promotions of members of staff, issues to do with disciplining members of staff, issues to do with staff development policies and, and all of that. The university sits on Banda Hill and is one of Uganda's largest public universities. Chambogo University came as a result of a merger of the former Uganda Polytechnic Chambogo, UPK, the Institute of Teacher Education Chambogo, ITEC, and the Uganda National Institute of Special Education, UNICE. So we have had policies which have helped us to move the university forward because we have policies that govern how the university is run. The issue of funding, we have not improved our funding base markedly because largely we are funded by government. But because of the large student numbers, our total income has increased. 2019-2020, our budget had moved to about 151 billion. So our, our base, financial base is also improving. Also, we also have a resource mobilization policy, which has been approved by council, which will guide us on how we can mobilize resources for the university. But we, we must do this in line with government so that government can allow us to use the resources we develop, we generate here to develop the university. Chambogo University has six faculties and two schools with about 30,000 students on campus and about 34,000 students in affiliated institutions. The faculties and schools include Faculty of Engineering. The Faculty of Engineering in Chambogo University, first of all, is the largest faculty of engineering in Uganda. In terms of student numbers, we have over 5,000 students. In terms of programs, we have 27 undergraduate programs and three master's programs. In terms of infrastructure, we have over 60 workshops and laboratories in addition to lecture rooms and uh, other facilities. So we are really big in terms of that. And this is because we have a long tradition of uh, teaching engineering. We started from uh, way behind, and that has helped us to have uh, hands-on training for our students because of these uh, facilities which we have. And uh, we have uh, four departments. We have the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. We have the Department of Mechanical and Production Engineering. We have the Department of Civil and Building Engineering. And we have the Departments of Lands and Architecture Studies. These are the programs, the 27 undergraduate programs and the four graduate programs, four masters, are distributed in these departments, yes. And as I've pointed out, this year has been because we have a number of workshops. It is 60 workshops, it's quite a lot when you look at the area they occupy and what, has, what, the, uh, what is entailed. And the, one of the issues is that we've had most of our infrastructure renovated. That's a very big achievement. 
and the modern equipment are now in the process of being uh, installed. We've got uh, all these uh, renovated and new infrastructure built. One of the biggest achievements we managed, we really took time to look at what other institutions which are training. And that led to a case where we have people who have done a diploma. For example, if you have done a diploma in engineering and you've passed very well, you can enter the degree program in the second year. Because like for the technical colleges, we, train, we tailored our first year training to the diploma program. So that when somebody has finished a diploma, he has got all the training that has been carried out by the bachelor's people in the first year. Very few people have looked at this, but in order to be a research institution, you need master's programs, and we are writing PhD and other master's programs. So we've really moved. Faculty of Science. The Faculty of Science is made up of seven departments, uh, physics, mathematics, biological sciences, chemistry, computer science, sports science, and food technology. We have an enrollment of 2,480. These are the students who registered for the exams uh, for the first semester of this academic year of 2018-19. We have a number of programs in these uh, uh, departments, but I'll just mention a few new ones. We have Bachelor of Science in Oil and Gas Production. We started this course because many universities around were offering programs in oil and gas management, in oil and gas law, and we, felt, we felt we needed to bring in a course that would deal with production. Uh, you know, these days the catchword is uh, when are we having our own oil? and Chambogo felt that they should come in and provide man power for the oil sector. Uh, we started uh, the oil and gas production, the Bachelor of Science in Oil and Gas Production. It's now going to have the first graduates this academic year. In December, we'll be uh, graduating the first group. And we feel by the time Uganda goes into uh, oil and gas production, uh, Chambogo will also contribute to, to the manpower. We also have a Bachelor of Science in Laser Turning uh, Technology. Uganda produces a, a lot of hides and skins, but when you go to the industry, all the finished products all, the, all the, the, the materials they use on finished products it is imported. We only export raw materials. So we have made uh, our bachelors in such a way that, and I think the first bachelors in leather tanning uh, in this country, because this is a program that has been on uh, a diploma level, certificate level. So Chambugu comes in uh, to give a bachelor's degree in laser uh, turning technology. Uh, and these are the people who are going to bring in the quality of manpower in the sector. Our diploma graduates from uh, the technical colleges now are able to come to Chambogo and upgrade and get a degree in laser turning technology. Uh, we also have various Masters and PhD programs. All these departments have masters and degree and, and PhD programs. The university uh, to develop it entirely depends on on research. It's, uh, the university is known internationally by the research products, by the research outputs, and by having these masters and the and the uh, PhD programs. We know very well that very soon Chambogo will be among the best uh, internationally known uh, universities. 
Uh, during the time I've been uh, in here, I've seen an increase in, uh, in intake. As much as we have an increase in, in, the, in, in, in the programs, we also have an increase in, in people who apply to Chambugo. And to me, that is the confidence. Uh, the, the, the people who come to Chambugo, who apply to come to Chambugo, have put confidence in us because they know our graduates outside there are, are doing a very good job. So we get uh, more applicants. Sometimes we cannot take all of them. Uh, but I am really happy that uh, Chambogo now, uh, the, the, the parents, the students, uh, will give Chambogo University the first choice because it is known to be a hands-on uh, university. Uh, over time, we have seen the, 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 the university increase the budget on teaching materials. And in science, you cannot do science without uh, teaching materials for practical. To me, when students come here and have hands-on, uh, they also go and market the university. So, and we really hope that we shall continuously increase on the amount that is allocated to the purchase of teaching materials. Faculty of Special Needs and Rehabilitation. Um, the Faculty of Special Needs is put in place for about three major reasons. Uh, the first reason is the training of teachers who are supposed to work with children with disabilities and other special needs. The second reason is the training of uh, community workers to be able to screen, identify, and assess children with disabilities. And the other group that we train are those who rehabilitate, those who did not manage to go to school. Persons with disabilities who didn't manage to go to school, but they need to be brought into the limelight, what we call the lifelong learning, uh, previously called adult education. Uh, the fourth thing that we do is production of materials that help to rehabilitate persons with disabilities. I should add that we do not train persons with disabilities per se, but we train persons with disabilities and other people, ordinary people like you and me, who should develop the skill to identify persons with disabilities, rehabilitate them, and empower them to be useful members of their community and uh, the country. In fact, training in special needs education is based on sustainable development goal number four of leave no one behind. We train teachers in special needs education. We train sign language interpreters. All the interpreters you see on TV have training coming out of Chambogo. In fact, it's only Chambogo that trains sign language interpreters. We train community-based reputation workers. And some of our courses have a small intake because of the nature of their training. It's a one-to-one -one training. For example, the class of sign language, we would like to have uh, 